ready.
a hell of a medley. We had to start a few minutes early just so we could sneak that whole thing in there. Uh, it's very long, but I wanted to play the whole thing. We made fucking... Made like seven intro gifts today. It was so unnecessary, but I wanted to do it. Oh, well. Hi, hello, everyone. Oh, I forgot the pre-stream stuff. <gasps> Hold on. Let me see here. Hotashi and Captain Donk have followed. Grimzin with a B has followed. Blues424 has followed. Bluto to you two. Draco's on. Jumbo Donut. Dick Debonair. Dream Memory and Cinnery have all hosted, and Tepid Snake has resubscribed for six whole years in a row! Hey, nothing XS gifted a sub to Hotashi as well. Hello, everyone. Uh, what the fuck are we. Free star thing for the host. What are we doing? I've already forgotten. Oh, that's right, we're gonna play some Fantasy Zone! <gasps> we're finally gonna go to the Fantasy Zone! I can't believe it! You got SNK energy now, yeah. You can also, uh... I'm a big fan of this one. This is, that's my, that's my go-to. I don't know what emotion that's meant to convey, but... I like it. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the Fantasy Zone. GET READY! We're gonna check out a bunch of different fantasy zones today, because I like fantasy zone a whole lot. I'll never claim to be good at them, but we'll see how we'll see how we do. I got I have mild I have some mild auto fight uh, auto fire enabled on this stick. There's three different auto fire settings. It's the It's going I'm going with the middle one, because that's about as fast as I can mash. <laughs> anyway. Fantasy zone! That's what we're doing. You can one CC fantasies at well, you pretty much have to because there's no continue feature. <laughs> this game came out in 1986. I wasn't even born. I wasn't even born in 1986. I was a I was a zygote. Anyway, yeah, one CC time crisis. You're not going to see one of those here. Not going to see that on this channel. <laughs> At least not anytime soon. It's very colorful and joyous for, for 1986, yeah. This game was created when Sega had... They had seen Gradius, and they wanted to make something like Gradius, because Gradius was turning out to be super-duper popular. <laughs> they wanted them to make a, uh... They wanted them to make some kind of shmup, space shmup, kind of like Gradius. <laughs> But they ended up going this route instead because they figured that would help it stand out more. Did anyone grab the statue? A lot of people did. Oh, I gotta move the alerts up. Thank you so much for the host, Mega Drivers. Wait, wait, I gotta move the... Wait, hold on. Wait, I gotta... I gotta... Uh, and then I gotta... Uh, 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 uh. There we go. <laughs> Look at his... He has a little scuttle, yeah. The Mets were good in 86. Cannot. I can't. I can't, can't confirm that. I'll take your word for it. Anyway. Let's play the first one first. Let's read this lore. Long ago, far away in space, there existed a fantasy zone where a courageous hero called Opa Opa, the player, that's you, chat room, fought in a valiant cause to rescue the fantasy zone from its enemies. You got it. We gotta save that fantasy zone, chat room. For anybody who had never... Anybody who's never played fantasy zone before, there are essentially several, uh... enemy spawning generators or bases that you have to take out per stage. Get the farts shop. You can see on the bottom of the screen how many are left and where they are located in the stage. We're gonna see how good we do. I am traditionally not super great at shmups, but you know what? Maybe we'll learn something by the end of the day. 
We, of course, meaning me. Maybe we'll learn how to play shmups by the end of the stream. I hope so. Lower the volume. I got you. Hold on. Let me adjust. Let me adjust that shit just for you, chat room. Bam. There we go. How's that? <laughs> Hear that boss music though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's dead now. That was quick. <laughs> Money! Ooh, every jam is hot in this game! You free money! Well, I mean, we had to... We had to take out a large tree monster. <laughs> he apparently poses some threat to the fantasy zone. Yo, Lombok, thank you for the follow. Oh, man, it's gonna be hard to keep track of alerts today of all days. I'll do my best, though. Yeah, we're playing Space Harrier. Oh, what a good pattern. Oh, I was committed to not moving. Yo, what's up, Oni? Oh my god, are we doing it? Are we gaming for once? Oh my sweet Jesus. Why you know shop? I mean, as soon as we as soon as we need to go to the shop, we'll go to it. Tell you what, though, I'll buy a wide beam. Buy a wide beam just for you. Let's buy a smart bomb as well, just in case we're about to get hit. We should be able to clear the screen of bullets. <laughs> the thing with the weapons you can buy from the shop, though, are they are finite. You can see the meter on the right side of the screen depleting. That's based on a timer. You'll also lose it if you die like this. So you gotta be careful with your purchases. Hang out in the shop for 10 hours? That'll never happen. The shop definitely kicks you out after like 30 seconds. <laughs> I think it- no, I think the- I think the shop timer starts at 30 seconds, and then it gets lower as you progress. I think by the end of the game, the shop kicks you out in like 10 seconds. Or something absurd. Buy your shit and get out. How are, uh, how are- how are y'all doing, though? This fine- this fine evening. Get off the machine! We're just gonna bomb the shit out of this guy from relative safety. Weirdly cruel shot. I mean, it's an arcade machine. You can't be you can't be sitting there all day hogging the machine, buying shit. You better. I mean, there's other people that might want. There's other people that might want to play. <laughs> and the arcade's got to make more money. Not too bad. Oh shit! I'm buying a laser! I love this stage because we barely have to participate in it. Yes! <laughs> We're just gonna scuttle. It's gonna scuttle to the right. <laughs> Thank you. 
There we go. Yeah. Very easy to die to that enemy pattern. I don't know how we managed not to. Whoop. Tell you what, tell you what, tell you what, we'll go the long way around. We'll go the long way around. We're gonna, we're gonna scuttle this awake. There we go. Alright, now we're cooking. We are cooking once more. They really want us dead. Yeah, the game is pretty absurd without auto fire. <laughs> Gotta love the blue bullets on an already blue background. Just to make it extra hard to see. Money! I love the concept of Opa Opa having to buy his own upgrades. He doesn't... <laughs> he's not like the Vic Viper, for example, where... <laughs> you just pick up a... You just collect a power-up by running into it, and you're fine. And then you just have it. Now Opa Opa's gotta go to the store. I don't know why I used my smart club. Oh no. Alright, here we go. Fucking busted-ass seven-way shot. Now we got two extra ships. I mean, there's only one down there. But we've got another afterwards. Buy the seven-way shot again? I should, really. But no, every time you buy something, it becomes more expensive. And we don't want to use all of our money, because we may need all of it at the end for extra lives. Yeah, shop is timed. Like now, for example. We'd need to buy an extra life. But we can cheese this boss, possibly. We'll see how this goes. I find this to be the most difficult boss in the game, usually. There are ways to cheese this one. This one's easy with seven way. Here's my strat. You get it down to these two snowmen, yeah? And then we just sit here. We're just gonna sit here for a while. Which seems fairly pointless because they just keep shooting. But eventually they give up. Here's a pro tip for you. That one's on the house, you can keep that. Ah, let's buy another one. Let's buy a seven weight. You never seen that? Oh, it's the best. <laughs> no problem fighting Polygon team. Love showing people tech. Although that's like the only tech I have for this game. I'm out of tech. I'm fresh out of tech. I'm sorry. No more tech. I am in danger, is what I am in. Yeah. 
Yes, <laughs> somebody donate some tech. There is not one safe spot on the screen, is there? There we go. All right. Which boss was this? Ah, it's this one. <laughs> Yeah, welcome to the eyeball zone. That's you he's looking at. That's you he's looking at, chat room. Holy shit, we're rich! Yes! Oh, it feels good! Another seven weight. Of course we do. <laughs> We're at the point of the game where you either have a seven way shot or you die. Those are your two options. Or you have a seven way shot and you die. We hadn't considered that. It's a very brutal game, yeah. They intended for this game to appeal to a very large, diverse audience when they made it. But in hindsight, in an interview, they said they're not sure how well that worked out because the game was very difficult. <laughs> The Zero Galaxia thing would follow. Yes! All right, we made it to the end. Have I ever played the PS2 remake of this? Yes, I have! The, uh, the, the Sega Ages one? I have. I absolutely have. Alright, let's just... Let's not spend any money that we don't have to. Yeah, boss music right away. Now, the bosses are a little more difficult this time around as well. Like, these are going to go a lot faster. Oh, how did I dodge that? How did I thread that needle? <laughs> I don't even know how I did that. All right. At least this one is civilized. A civilized boss in an otherwise uncivilized game. Alright. Yeah, I agree, fighting polygon team. This is gonna be a shit show. Yo, thank you for the follow! I didn't catch that name! I'm trying to dodge for my life. Thank you, though. We may die here. 
There's a strong possibility we die here. The, uh, the timeout cheese does not work this time around. They do not stop firing after about a minute. If you time them out this time, they all start firing, as opposed to none of them. Alright, fair enough. Let's buy a seven way. Yeah, maybe there's cooling in here. Not too bad. <laughs> this slows down the game. No, you do not have to redo the entire boss rush. Thank... Thank goodness for that. Yeah, we bought a turbo engine, which usually is too fast to control, but... I find that for our purposes at the very, very end of this game, we may need the extra speed. There we go. Nice bomb, obo oh, but. See if I remember how to do this last bit. This is gonna require some tricky maneuvering at the end here. Gotcha, bitch! That's why we bought the turbo engine. Opa Opa, the player, has now destroyed the invading army and restored peace to the fantasy zone. However, he has mixed emotions because his long-lost father was the chief of the enemy forces. One burning question that will remain with him until his dying days. Was my victory really worth the price I had to pay? I've still got auto fire on. <laughs> Initials are difficult all of a sudden. There we go. Yo, Tempid Snake, thank you for the 200 bits. And then the game loops, by the way. I guess we'll play this out until we die. It may not take that long. You think about that final line constantly? It does get strangely dark right at the end, doesn't it? Alright, turbo engine's a little too fast. I understand. <laughs> yeah, they allow you to put in your high score right before the loop. I'm happy with that, though. I would celebrate it as a 1cc, but really that's the only way to play this game. Yo, nothing excess! Thank you for the 200 bits! Technically, it's a 1cc, but the game doesn't have a continue feature. So, you know, you either beat it on one credit or you don't beat it at all. <laughs> But yeah, that's Fantasy Zone. Big, huge fan. <laughs> it's a common theme in most of the uh, Fantasy Zone games, is that there's no continue at all. <laughs> yeah, the good old technical 1cc. Alright, anyway. There's a reason that we have titled the stream the thing that we have titled it today. You already got a, you already get a hint of it. You already get a hint of the deeper lore of Fantasy Zone right at the end of that first game. There's way more lore. But next, we are going to take a look at we're going to shimmy on over to the Sega Master System 
for the thrilling sequel, Fantasy Zone 2, The Tears of Opa Opa. It is worth mentioning that Fantasy Zone 2, The Tears of Opa Opa, is the name of two separate video games developed over 20 years apart. And we will get to both of them, but for now, we're going to play the original Sega Master System version. Yeah, gold cartridge. We also have to play the Japanese version. Yeah, 20 years! Fantasy Zone 2 came out twice, chat room. Once in 1988, and another time in 2008. And they are not the same game. Where did I put... Where did I locate the... Where is, where's Master System? Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Fantasy Zone 2. Oh no. Marry me with my money. <laughs> Fighting Polygon team, thank you for the... Thank you for the three dollar dudes. <laughs> Ever heard of Ant Stream? I don't. I don't think I have. No. What am I doing? Yo, Amasia, thank you for the uh, thank you for the quarter. Yeah, that was a one CC. Only because it had to be though. If we were given the option to credit feed, we may have just done so. Here we go. Fantasy Zone Two: The Tears of Opa Opa. We may have to turn this one up. This one seems a little quiet. Probably have to turn it up. Yeah, FM sound in the Japanese version. That's why we're playing the Japanese version. It adds FM sound that the other versions do not have. Alright, how was this audio? We're back to audio balancing. I'm gonna be honest with you, my computer went through a lengthy update process because I had been holding off on performing a system update on this, uh, streaming device. And after updating, I realized that all my preset audio balancing had been set back to default, so now we have to figure audio out again! <laughs> Oh, dear God. The Dick Debonair gifted 20 subs. Stop it. It's too early in the day for this. Thank you so much. Is there even anybody left that's not subbed? I feel like everybody got hit by now. All right, anyway. Put me in. Put me in. No, put me in. Put me in, Sega. Here we go. Look at this tiny game. It's so much tinier. <laughs> oh no, there's more. Oh no! It's hard to play Fantasy Zone in these conditions! Yo, Twani with the gift sub to- with the gift sub to green! Yeah, there's warps! Alright, we have to talk about warping now. Is the bot subbed? Uh, probably. I paused the game. Why did I pause the game? Oh, warps! That's right! So, stages in this game are composed of several screens, and you only get to other screens by warping. So now we're on a completely new screen with new, uh, bases to destroy. New enemy generators, if you will. That's where the shop is down there, it's just on the ground. <laughs> Let's buy... Oh, shit, we're broke. We can't afford any... We can afford big wings. That's about all we can do. Oh, no. Fane mech gifted us up to Draco's on. Yo, Tepid Snake, I'm glad you, uh... Glad you got to see Fantasy Zone 1, at least. Thank you for coming out to the stream. Have a good day. Yeah, no timer this time. We also have a power gauge. We have a tiny red gauge that, uh... I think if it were a bit longer, we'd be able to survive more than one hit before dying. 
But right now, I'm pretty sure we still die in one hit until we find some way to lengthen the meter. Seems like less shop items? No. Yet, comrade. That was just that shop, you see. So once we're fairly certain that we've taken out everybody... Oh no, I already got the tech key out. I was I was being coy for the for the stream. I already I, I got I got this shit. <laughs> once we're once we're uh, relatively certain we've killed every enemy on the stage, we can head into the red warp, which will take us will take you to the boss room. I apparently, I mean I I sort of maybe have this shit. I can't I can't guarantee can't guarantee that I've got this shit, but I'll try my best. Alright, we got him. Give me this money. Should be should be some secrets around. There are secret items in this video game. I have jumped the gun with this warp. We do not need that warp yet. <laughs> I ever stream Tiny Toons? I have not streamed a single Tiny Toons game. I watched a uh, Macaw play one last night, though. And it got me in the mood to play the Genesis one. Because I actually used to have the Genesis one. It reminds me a lot of Super Mario World with the, uh... The overworld screen and the multiple exits and such. You see that? See that secret potion down here? Longer health gauge. <laughs> what did we buy? We only bought big wings, I think. We have to buy, uh... Let's buy twin bombs so we can have two bombs on the screen at the same time. Why do you make him cry? I just, Opa, Opa just cries sometimes. Yeah, there's a health gauge at the top of the screen. It doesn't come into play all that often to be honest with you, but it may save our life. Now here's the thing. The number of screens that a stage is composed of also goes up like every stage. So the first stage I think was three screens, and by the end of the game I think the stages get to like six or seven screens? So it can become tricky maneuvering around these uh, teleporters and such, these these warp zones, to try and figure out which screens you have cleared and which ones you haven't. We cannot go in the boss warp yet because we have not taken everybody out, so we have to go hunting for them. There's gonna be a lot of that in this game. Was Opa Opa the first Sega mascot? He's definitely one of the first. I feel like... Was Alex Kidd first? I feel like Alex Kidd would have been first. Welcome Opa Opa came family. first? Okay. Get ready. Lamoxis, thank you for the... Thank you for the follow. We need to buy some shit because we just died and we lost our shit. We'll buy an engine. And we'll buy... Some more twin bombs, and we'll buy that extra life back. No. No, we won't. We'll hold off on that, because we still have another one. Never play Alex Kid Arcade? I never have. Fantasy Zone is sick, I agree. Dick Debonair gifted a tier one sub to Laconic Shock! Okay, we're fine. We can fight the boss now. I love this goofy boy, this goofy man. All right, he's dead. He's just dead now. Dick Debonair gifted a sub to board, man. You've gifted 213 subs. Please, no. It's too many.
the stage does not accurately reflect the weather, the temperature I am currently experiencing in my household. Yo, Jay, thank you for the bits. Thank you for the 300 bitums. I should steal... I should steal Macaw's text-to-speech bit tech and make it so there's text-to-speech when you throw bits. Yo, Tick Debonair gifted a sub to Lamoxis. <laughs> the fucking five memes, that's what we need. Bombs are very good for destroying the bases. There are alert parries. Ah, I guess that could be a thing. But I, I, I'm kind of conceptually against the idea. Yeah, carp streamer. Chart with downwards trend is one of my favorites. in this shop. Got big wings, we got big bombs, fire bombs, which are one of the best, <laughs> one of the best, most absurd weapons. Uh, thing about these weapons is I think they're all still finite. I don't, th I think big bombs are, big bombs are not finite. You get an infinite amount of these. And they're just like better. They're just better bombs. Bigger, Bigger, better bombs. More damage. Yo, thank you so much, Dick Debonair. I don't know. I could not possibly thank you anymore if I tried. Already getting to the stages where there's like a fuck ton of screens. It's not too bad to like dodge stuff in this game though, because usually when enemies do decide to fire at you, they kill the frame rate. Because <laughs> this game is not designed to have all these sprites on screen at once. How are there still more? How can that be? And we have arrived at our... We have arrived at our regularly scheduled... ...ice level. There's gotta be one. Luckily for us, Opa Opa flies. And is immune to the standard ice physics that would plague another game. There should be a... There should be another shop. There, sh there should be a secret shop around here somewhere. Hold on. We gotta find it. We've gotta find it. <gasps> there it is. You hear that noise? You hear that noise? It's indicating that we are hitting something. Secret shop! <laughs> Check this shit out. Got blue bottles. We got red bottles. This is the only location in the video game that you can purchase a continue. This is the only continue in the game. So we're gonna buy it, of course we are. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Luigi Maker, thank you for the follow. <gasps> is that dank art? Oh my goodness. Yes! <laughs> the Dick Debonair gifted a sub to stop bun tick. Thank you so much. And this Opa Opa looks incredible. Big fan. Big huge fan. What was I doing? I uh, I bought a continue. We're gonna buy a red bottle, because red bottles extend your health bar. So now it's a little longer. 
but it doesn't fill that part up for you, so we also have to buy the blue bottle to heal that back to maximum. We're pretty much broke, but we've got a we've got a continue now. We have a continue. Wait, that was the boss warp. Wait, here we go. <laughs> Let's kick some ice! We are gonna wait to kill him until he's at the bottom of the screen. We're gonna try and kill him while he's on the bottom of the screen because that will make the money he drops spread around a little bit less. Which should make it easier to collect. Oh no. Is it ice pun o'clock? I think it is. <laughs> Yeah, this stage is a looker. That's all I can say about it. Wait, wait, there's a shop right there. Wait! Please tell me there's a gut stage. There might be a gut stage. Knowing how Fantasy Zone tends to get towards the end, there may yet be a gut stage. I think we can buy a heavy bomb, but we only get, like, one of them. We could maybe buy one and then save it for the boss, but then we wouldn't be able to... We wouldn't be able to use our regular bombs. So we're better off, like, buying a heavy bomb right before we go to the boss fight. And then maybe we can just drop it on the boss, like, kill him in one hit. Thanks for coming out for the... Thank you for coming out to the stream, Luigi Baker! Thank you for the... Thank you for the kind words. Oh, shit! We almost got sandwiched. That could have been a disaster. <laughs> That's a big coin. All right, where are we going? Oh, no. I'm already getting lost in the screens. Yeah, so we took a hit there. Now you can see how it, uh, drains... ...drains the health gauge. We actually do have a health gauge for a change. This is one of the only fantasy... Uh, one of the only fantasy zones with such a feature. Usually you just die in one hit. As was the style at the time. Now... Granted, most of the life extensions are hidden, but they are there, they exist. Alex Kidd and Opa Opa are the same age. Well, Alex Kidd just came back. Alex Kidd's getting a new game in the year of our Lord 2020, so maybe, just maybe, we can get a new Fantasy Zone, because it's been... Probably about a decade now. No, you know what? You know what? I do want to buy a heavy bomb. We're going to go back to that shop screen when we're done on this one. Put Opa Opa and Smash, honestly? I've been, I've been, I've been praying for that. I don't even care, I don't care if he's playable. I don't care what they do, I just want my, my son, my son Opa Opa. I just want, I want my son Opa Opa to come home. We're gonna buy a, we're gonna buy a one-up, we're gonna buy BIG SHOT! Which gives us big shots. <laughs> 
I like our double big setup on the top right corner. We got big shot, we got big bomb. Oh no. I found the flaw. I found a flaw with the big gun. It makes this noise. What would I want from a fantasy zone stage? I don't know. Cameos from some of the bosses, I guess. Are we... Where is the boss warp? Are we, like, good to go? Where the hell are we going, chat room? I'm lost in teleporter hell. <laughs> Thank you, Astralaxis. Zetsubera made that one. 10 out of 10. Would recommend you, uh, commission... I would recommend you commission your boy, Zetsubera. He hates when I shill him. So I'm going to do that exact thing. Oh, hello! Yes, yeah, suddenly dragon. Reminds me of the one in Space Harrier. It's not the only comparison to Space Harrier we'll be making this evening. What? Immediate cookage. Scarf to Smith continuing the sub they got from Felly! Oh, thank you so much! Oh no, they're all on the bottom of the screen, are they? They're all just chilling down here. The enemies. The enemies are getting more... more hell-bent on destroying us. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Yo, welcome to the fantasy zone, Golzil. in the store. Fireballs are in the store. Worth it's not a limited use thing, I'd probably buy it. Nah, I'm okay with what I got. We may just hoard our money. I know that we bought a continue already as a safety net, but that's no reason not to go for a 1cc, so what if we hoard the money that we're not using for more 1-ups if we happen to need them? <laughs> I'm glad people like the firebrand gif. Would I ever consider an Alex Kid stream? Yes, of course. I've only played one Alex Kid game on stream, to my knowledge, and that was during the Shinobi stream I played the, uh... The Shinobi Alex Kid game. I don't think I have played another one since. Was that a hidden shop? <gasps> Hot damn! Alright, red bottle for more maximum health. And then blue bottle to heal it all. Oh my god, we're living. I can't afford a goddamn thing else. The auto beam just gives you auto fire. You got you got baked in auto fire that you can purchase from the store, and there's a shield which uh, allegedly protects you from damage, but I don't know if it's like programmed properly. I've never noticed it actually working. Yeah, wide shot. The thing about the wide shot is that it can run out, and I've never been a huge fan of those, like the timer-based weapons in this game specifically. Like, they're fine in Fantasy Zone 1 because the stages are hella short, but in this game, like, what's the point of spending, uh, what's the point of spending money on a weapon that'll run out when you have to traverse, like, six or seven screens to find everyone? You're gonna run out on one screen. At least that's the way I look at it.
yeah, you can revisit shops, which is pretty, it's pretty nice. It's pretty, it's pretty nice of them. Where is the boss warp? Have we taken everybody out? We gotta try and locate this boss warp, wherever the hell that might be. Aha! Yes! What do we got? Oh, hello! <laughs> We've stumbled upon a good emote. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Peter Matthews, thank you for the follow. That's a that's a face and a half is what that is. Oh no. Oh I don't like that palette. Oh I don't like this palette he's turned into. Oh no okay, no, it's fine. The evil is defeated. <laughs> Oh, Jesus! Okay, no, it's fine. We're definitely at the point where they want us to die. I understand. We're at the stage of the game where you have even less time to react to enemies flying at you at full speed. You cannons with legs! I'm gonna purchase a smart bomb. No. No, I'm gonna... Eh... Yeah, that palette's pretty good. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of finite use weapons in the store, but I don't really like buying those in this game because I like to save that money for the, like, shit in the secret shops, like the life extensions. Maybe we can buy a shield. Greetings from Wisconsin. Yo, shoutouts to Wisconsin. I've never been. I have a, I have a, I've acquired all of my Wisconsin knowledge from that 70s show. I assume it's just like that. Frames, Batman. We're running out of frames. Yeah, <laughs> the guns with legs. Distressingly, those are not the only guns with legs we're going to be seeing on this channel. More on that story as it develops. Oh, I see. I understand. Twin big ba- Oh, we're in there. Twin big. <laughs> Metal Gear. Now we can have two big bombs on the screen at the same time. Is this lightning harmful? Can we not- Oh, no, we're fine. That's in the background, thankfully. Yeah, poppin' twin big. Yo, we have to have a, we have to do a twin B stream. The only problem with that is I have no idea how to play twin B. I I understand the concept of bell juggling, but I cannot make my hands do it. <laughs> Yeah, there's tech for Twinbee. There's bell juggling. But for the life of me, I can't do it. Aha! Oh, hello. Hello, strange hamburger man. Is this fine? Maybe this is fine. Oh, 
Alright, well, he's dead. His <laughs> sad pancakes. Round seven. Yeah, I know, we accidentally killed Sad Burger Man. We didn't have- he didn't have to die. We could have talked that out, probably. Oh, shit! Okay, no, it's fine. We've got no time to react. We've got no time to react. We just got a game! Just got a game, gamer! We're gonna have to game a little harder than that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Enemies are falling from the sky! I would not mind, uh, locating a shop. Because currently, we are too slow to dodge things. That is a problem. Oh no. Oh no. Ugh. Oh, this stage is gonna be rough, I can already tell. No, hear me out. No, hear me out. No, hear me out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the struggle has begun. Reactions aren't good enough, it would seem. Oh, there's a shop right there! Oh, shit! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a sec. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we gotta buy a big shot. Gotta buy a jet engine. That's all we can buy. That's better than nothing. We have movement. We have schmovement once more. It feels good. Yeah, it's hella slow down. But I guess that's what happens when you put this on the Master System. This game, it's worth mentioning, got ported to Arcade... ...afterwards. It's... That's not generally how it went, especially since Sega was so well known for arcade games. It's odd that they would make something with the Master System in mind and then port that to Arcade. We're playing the Master System version because that is the original Retro Omega. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, this is a Master System video game. The arcade port is honestly not that much different. Oh, there's another shop. Yeah, that's reactable. That's a good <laughs> I can buy twin bigs. Okay. I'm fighting for my life. Fighting for my goddamn life out here. Whew. Have we seen the boss warp yet? Where the hell would that be? Where the hell is the boss warp in this joint? Around here somewhere. <laughs> the video died. Is that is that on everyone's end? I hope not. I haven't. Uh, I've only dropped a few frames. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Oh, there was a whole nother screen! How did we dodge this screen?
I think this is the screen with the secret. Yeah, red bottle. I think that's the... I think that's the maximum size our... health gauge can be. Yo, Tin Pot, thank you for the host! You were dead as shit. We have a big life bar to show for it, though. Big health. Big health for big gamers. No lives to speak of, though. We're fresh out of lives. Maybe we should go and... do something about that. Alright, fair enough. I guess that's why we bought that continue. Hey, where's my continue video game? Where's the- why are you asking me for feet pics? This is a disaster. Chat room, didn't we purchase a continue? I think they robbed us. They decided not to give it to us. That's fine, we know the tech though. This is the run, we're gonna run that shit back, we're gonna do it this time. We're gonna do it gooder. You know what that means. You know what that means, chat room? That means we can save money by not purchasing that continue. Oh, paper box house wants me to hydrate. Hold on! Scam. We got scammed. We absolutely got scammed. But it's fine. We can use the data we have acquired and we'll 1cc this game properly. We're going to use... Going to use what we have learned. We're going to apply that knowledge. Yes, it is, Tin Pot. We're playing the original Master System version. A are easy. Easy game! I think so. I think so, Zetsu. It's fine. It's probably fine. <laughs> it looks harder than Burger Time. I am absolute garbage at Burger Time. Full disclosure, I cannot... I cannot comprehend Burger Time. I've never been good at it. I don't know how we dodge that with absolutely no speed. <laughs> Whoa! That's reactable. Yeah, this early in the game, your health bar is short enough that you can't take hits. <laughs> Hold on, where was the shop? Gotta get to the shop screen. I think it was this one. Yeah. We want this screen because there's a secret here. There you are. We need that red bottle for later. Maximum health increase. It's gonna be very important. Especially since the last stage is, uh, is like that. <laughs> Especially since that is the way it is. Let's get some twin bombs. Let's get an engine so we can actually move. Let's buy this extra life back while we're at it. All right, we have purchased movement. Hot damn, it feels good. Is 
just throwing hammers at us. I can't believe this. Oh, I think we got every coin! I did survive long enough to get a longer health bar. To be fair, like, every health extension is hidden. I wish they weren't. But they're... I think every single one is hidden. It's fucked up. Yo, what's up, Emmy Fails? Are we drinking tears for lunch? Yes. Question is, are they Opa Opa's tears? Or are they ours? <laughs> That's what Stream Juice. Yes. The secret identity. Big Bomb. Can we get Opa Opa tissue? Yeah. I gotta get a. I have to get an Opa Opa, like, better Twitch emote gif of just him scuttling across the ground. Lock. That is not the secret I was looking for. We found a clock on accident. If I'm not mistaken, the clock extends the duration of your limited time weaponry. Which can make them a bit more viable in a game like this where you have to do so much running around. And we can't leave yet. We have to get have to get the other secret. Should be right down here, I think. Yeah. Here we go. This is what we want. Red bottle! Blue bottle! Ooh, it feels good to have HP. Okay. We can survive a bit better. That's what we want. We're in full on we're in full on speed run mode now. We're gonna, we're gonna speed run this shit. Where was the boss warp again? <laughs> Uh-oh. Now we're, we need more. We missed a few. Yeah, clock and double bombs. So we must have missed one somewhere. Aha! We missed an entire screen, in fact. Yo, Dr. Shellbait, thank you for the host! Is that- is that my identification? I wasn't aware I was an uncle. Thank you for the host, though. Which boss was this? Ah, that's right. Don't get the money. Get the money, Opa Opa! Back in the, uh, back in the red hell zone, I suppose. <laughs> this screen in particular. This might be the most hellish screen of the bunch.
We're gonna speed run this stage because I don't think there was anything of value hidden here. The music is strangely pleasant, yeah. It is odd. I feel as though it was very ambitious to put a shmup of all things on the Master System, because they knew that this much stuff on the screen would have slowed it down. They had to have known. They pulled the trigger on it anyway. The bosses look easier than the main levels, you are correct. The bosses are not the threat in this game. Master System. I'm not surprised, uh... I'm not surprised Tin Pot Gamer is here today. I can't think of a bigger Sega Master System fan. I've forgotten where the boss warp is. We're gonna find it as a team, chat room, as a unit. Thankfully, each screen is very small. They don't scroll that far individually. It's very easy to do a lap. There you are. I almost forgot about the dragon! Sega said, S Sega said, fuck a sprite limit. <laughs> so much flickering. Well, he's dead. Fair enough. This is the music that... This is the kind of music that invariably would be attached to the most infuriating part of the video game. Like, this is the kind of music I would expect to hear in, like, a compilation. Like a, like a 20-minute compilation of somebody being stuck in a video game in one spot. Without fail, this would be the kind of music that would play. Oh, secret shop! Hold on! <gasps> Red bottle and blue bottle! Alright, we're gaming. We're living. <laughs> Anytime, Zanfelt. How did, uh, how did Vagrant Story go? I did not, I was not able to catch the end of it. Yo, Varbzy, thank you for the, thank you for the 6,000 years in a row. We're already taking hits. We just bought a blue bottle to get our health back. We're taking hits again. These last few stages are very unforgiving. They do not care about our feelings. They don't care about our well-being. I'll buy that twin big bombs, though. Hey, we got a clock. Let's buy a seven-way. This is gonna kill the frame rate. <laughs> you fuck those frames. Oh no.
You know, sometimes the lack of frames can work to our benefit. Suddenly, things that were undodgeable before are perfectly dodgeable. Oh shit, there's more. I thought we were free. I thought we were out. I thought we were out of this nightmare together, chat room. But we're still here. Alright, you got me. <laughs> yeah, it gets rid of your big shot when you uh, when you buy the uh, limited use weapons. It's one of the reasons why you're probably better off just sticking with the big shot. So we gotta get back to the boss warp. But we also probably have to buy some more shit before we even do that. See if we can't buy some good shit. We can get twin big bombs. Uh, we need to buy a better engine. That's not this one. And optionally, we need to buy a better gun. Honestly, the kind of gun we have does not matter that much. <gasps> Is there more Dankart? Oh no! I'm missing Dankart! Shit! Someone wanted feet picks? Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> I don't know, I don't know when the, uh... I don't know when feet picks became such a thing on this stream. That just, like, happened without... without my input. I didn't sign off on that, that just kinda happened. Alright. Which boss was this? Ah, that's right. I almost forgot about this guy. Yeah, this boss is fairly harmless, honestly. He doesn't do much of anything. Oh, that money was hard to collect. Tin pot, subscribe for five whole years. I would like to see what's in the Welcome shop. The fantasy zone. Get ready. Yo, who dares? Yo, Draymark, thank you for the host. Oh no, that was a uh, no, that was a follow. I'm getting my fantasy zones mixed up. What's your favorite Sega Master System box art? Why is it Space Harrier? It is good. I've never played Space Harrier on the Master System, though. I've only played, like, the arcade version and the, like, PS2 Sega Ages one. That's, like, it. Oh, what the fuck? There's a shop right there. Hold on. Oh, baby. Oh, yes, sir. Red bottle. I don't think we got that last time. Most of the secrets are at the bottom of the screen. That must have been why we missed that. That one was dead center. Makes you wonder what else we may have missed. No life? No, we have an extra life. Zero counts as one in this game. That's the, uh, that's the mix-up that every old video game has. Does zero count as a life? Extra ship for only a hundred? Wait a second, was it? Oh, shit. Were there extra lives for hella cheap in there? We gotta go back. Alright, fair enough, we're going back. I may have been- I may have been looking at chat. That may have been where I veered very briefly. We're gonna buy 
If that shop has lives for super cheap, we're buying one. Dodging has become problematic. How many screens? How many screens is enough screens? How many bases must we destroy? <laughs> How did the fantasy zone get this fucked up? I thought we saved it in the previous game. How did it get so bad? Now let's check. 100, you are correct! That was hella cheap in the store. Thank you. Thank you for the, uh... Thank you for the heads up. I totally missed that. That was super cheap. That was, that was a freebie! We still cannot enter the boss warp. Where... What have we missed? Ah. I've located what we have missed. Yeah, only a hundred dollars. Five frames, even five frames per second might be generous. But it's not virtual hide light frame rate. We, uh, we played through virtual hide light fairly recently. And we got to experience, we got to experience that frame rate firsthand. It's exactly as jank as you've heard. Game is fun, though. Contrary to popular belief. Yeah, the 3D one. We had an entire hide -lied week. We played every hide -lied. There are four of them. We played all four of them. Oh, we got most of that money. I think this is where we got... I think this is where we got cooked. I'm gonna be honest. I don't even care about secrets on this stage. We're trying to get out of here with our lives. That is our objective. Objective, survive! Because this stage is rough. They are relentless. Oh no! Yeah, <laughs> not getting smoked is a priority. It's kind of nice sometimes when there's this many enemies on screen because it will slow down the game for you and make things more dodgeable than they otherwise may have been. But we can only rely on that sometimes. Oh wait, this was the screen that had the uh, red bottle. We do... I think we do want the red bottle here. We need to clear the screen and then kind of sweep along the bottom of the screen looking for it. Do. Can I have a moment? Can I have one moment, video game? Can I have a moment to breathe? One singular moment is all I ask. You have to press the pause button. It's the only way. It's the only reprieve you get. Is the pause button. So we have missed... We've missed a room somewhere. I think we found it. Let's hope this is the last one, and then we can go to the boss warp afterwards. Unless this room connects to another room that we had missed, which is entirely possible. 
There's only five bases per screen. Can we not? Can we not? Can we not? Can we do anything else? Okay. Where was that boss warp? Where was that? We gotta find it. We gotta track it down. <laughs> it was around here somewhere. Ah! Yes! Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe he's friendly. Uh, uh. That's a lot of bullets! Oh god! Woo! Video game! Holy shit! Okay, no, it's fine. Nobody panic. Everything's under control. Holy fuck. <laughs> Why is it like that? How badly did they want us to die? It has a hell of a video game, I must say. What's Big Wings? It's worse than our jet engine. Okay, so we did not buy anything. Because we're already, like, this close to death. We're gonna wait until we die, and then we're gonna stock up on some other shit. So this is our boss rush. We need to, uh... Let's see how much of it we can get done on this one life. We'll try and get some of these bosses done on this life. Ice Man's back. Yeah, the HUD is only visible on certain bosses. This ice cracking effect was no doubt too complex. <laughs> so they had to hide the HUD. Oh, hello. Same with this dragon. This dragon is made out of way too many sprites. I don't feel safe. Only one background, yeah. Ah, you got me. You got me fair and square. But now we can buy more shit. Uh, let's go for the... Let's get our jet engine back. We'll purchase a one-up. Let's go, let's go, uh, eh, we can get the fireball. The fireball is like a one-hit kill on most things. We'll go for twin bigs. Have I tried Darius on Master System? I haven't. Yeah, let's use, uh, let's use the fireball. It's gonna default us to a shitty gun afterwards, but... The fireball itself, very good. Clearly. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a very it's a hell of a it's a hell of a weapon. I don't like the angry burger. I don't like the Angry Burger. Okay. What do we got? Oh fuck, I forgot about this guy! Oh no! We could barely take him the first time!
Maybe he'll die first. Ah, shit. Yeah, if only Fireball lasted. Well, we can buy another one now. We can buy another Fireball at this point. <laughs> he deserved that. He deserved every bit of that. What? What? Oh god! Oh no, it's fine. Thank goodness for uh, the health bar. Oh shit! It's Opa Opa! Oh, he's good. All right. We don't have enough for an extra ship, so we've got to get it done on this attempt. Which means we should probably buy another fireball. Well, no, the fireball might not last long enough, though, because we got to deal with those lasers first. Maybe it's it's probably smart to just get the big shot because that'll last for the entire fight. I feel like that's the play here. All right. <clears throat> yeah, that enemy ship of all places. We're almost certainly gonna take a hit before the fight from this thing, though. Unless we get really lucky and take it out without getting hit. No. All right. Let's see what we can do. Opa Opa's tricky. Actually, are you Never mind. We found the we found the AI spot where the AI just doesn't do anything. Wow, this game's easy, chat room. We take those. No, it's fine, don't worry about it. Hey, our dad's back. We can't keep breaking these video games, chat room. With the riddle of who is the enemy's mastermind further deepening, the war comes to an end. Peace will once again be restored to the fantasy zone. Space year June 29th, 6226. Damn, the 6200s are going to be rad. Who was the mastermind leading the enemy forces that so closely physically resembled Opa Opa and fought with the same functional weapon? It was, in reality, Opa Opa's other self. Due to the emotional stress brought about as a result of a war during his childhood, he developed a dual personality of virtue and vice unknown even to himself. Only his father was aware of this fact. Splitting into two separate beings, he became, in addition to his role as the hero, the enemy's mastermind. Thus, because of the paternal bond ex existing between them, his father had no alternative but to assume the role of their leader. Now, as a result of Opa Opa's courageous victory, the evil that uh, the evil big that dwelled in him has been destroyed. Deeply moved, Opa Opa can no longer contain his tears, which, as they fall, signify his return to the sole path of righteousness. Opa Opa vows that never again will war occur. There's a lesson in here somewhere. Oh no, that's how every Fantasy Zone game goes. It seems all happy and cheery until you get to, like, the end credits. <laughs> They're very, like, happy, colorful, cheerful games, but none of the, like, end credits are happy and cheerful. 
Hence the title of the video game. <laughs> this is Kojima's first crit. Yeah, this is a this is a Kojima joint. Yeah, there's a lesson in here somewhere. I don't know what I don't know what it is, but there's a there's probably a lesson in here. Are the devs okay? Possibly. But now it's time to get a little sidetracked, because the Fantasy Zone series also got a little sidetracked. Let's get sidetracked for a bit. Fantasy Zone ain't just shmups, as it turns out. They experimented with a few other things. Like this. Let's take a look at Fantasy Zone The Maze, or as it's known in Japan, just Opa Opa. Have you ever played Pac-Man chat room? Everybody had to have a Pac-Man. Even Sega. Yeah, what is Pac-Man? We just don't know. We've got our top scientists working on it right now. This is also a Master System game. Ooh. Yeah, just in time for some fantasy zone. Yo, what's up, Sophie? Please let there be a racing game. I wish. This is the demo. We have to see if there's lore. We have to see if there's like a lore cutscene. <laughs> I have a feeling there's not, though, because this is a spin off. No, you gotta get more lore. That's the best bit. Opa Opa's in Sega and Sonic All-Stars Racing. Well, then that's a good video game. Confirmed. Which one was the one with, uh... Uh, Gilius Thunderhead? Because that game is also confirmed good, because it's got Gilius Thunderhead in it. Yeah, it's got Danica Patrick. Alright, there's no lore cutscenes, I understand. So there's not a chance in hell we beat this game, because I find this game to be fairly impossible. But we'll just, we'll go until we lose. The parts prices. You don't shop for parts in this game, you just go around on these Pac-Man-esque screens and the items are placed in locations. We have already died. We ran smack dab into the enemy generator. Let's run that back and pretend it didn't happen. No one saw anything. Good hustle. So this is very much like a Pac-Man style dot-eating video game. We have to collect all the coins, and in turn we have to use the coins to buy things, as you would in Fantasy Zone. We bought a weapon upgrade, so temporarily we are able to shoot shit. Which is very not common in a dot-eater game. Similar to the bases in the shmups, there's, a, there's an enemy generating thing in the middle here. Every time you are away from it, its meter will slowly fill up. And once it's full all the way, it'll spawn another enemy on the screen. And you definitely don't want to deal with that, so you want to run over it as frequently as you can to drain that meter. You can play as the Daytona car! When was the when was the last Daytona game? How long ago was the last Daytona game? Twenty thirteen? That's more recent than I thought. That's not terrible. Twenty eighteen, okay. Yeah, I have not played Daytona three.
Shit! Oh, he's good. I'm under attack. Oh, no. Jukes! Oh, we got jukes. Feels good. Oh, we only sort of have jukes. <laughs> they're not smart enough to go in those, are they? Oh, they're not smart enough to go in the, uh... In the tunnels on the sides of the screen. I don't think they're I think they're smart enough to chase me through there. <laughs> we could exploit that if we wanted to. Can you not fly? This is yeah, this is the arc where Opa Opa forgot how to fly. Is it's very tragic. It's all... It's all well documented in the manual, I'm sure. I haven't... I haven't read it. Yo, thanks for coming out to the stream, Captain Nonchalanto. I'm in a Sega racing game mood. We're talking about Daytona. I want to play Sega Rally Championship. I haven't played Sega Rally Championship in a while. He's just a baby. Oh, look at him eating that coin in the box art. Look at him just straight munching on that coin. Have I ever played NASCAR Rumble? I have not. Ah, shit. We got $2,500 out of that. So that was the bonus stage that takes place in between uh, worlds. Now we're going to, like, World 2. We got another jam. Yeah, Opa Opa sometimes has eyes. Only sometimes. Very occasionally is he drawn with eyes. Usually only when he's crying. Because you'll see the, uh... The tears and such. There we go. Hopa Hopa was born to make war. Yeah. What? It's, it's, there's... It's this and Kirby are the two I can think of where they are on the surface very, very colorful and happy and cheerful. But the more you dig, the, the darker it gets. Although this, pre this predates Kirby by a bit. Oh yeah, don't even get me started on Kirby lore. Kirby lore is a strange place to be. Oh. Alright, sure. So we've got complete invincibility and extra speed while we're using this, uh... Superpower. This, uh, this... I think the game calls it Top Power. Gives you more speed, invincibility till it runs out. It's very good, but it's also very expensive. Ristar needs a sequel. I agree. They didn't do they didn't do jack shit with Ristar after Ristar came out. I wish they had. We got the wide beam! Oh no. Oh, we're getting roasted. Is that my boy Flicky in the corner? Oh shit. I very briefly saw my boy, my son Flicky. Uh oh. 
So this is what happens when you don't run over the enemy generator for a while. The stage just gets absolutely overrun from every angle. The thing about this game is that the farther you get into the game, the the more impossible it becomes to keep track of all of these. This game does allow two-player co-op, and it seems to me that the only way to keep track of the enemy spawner, or to keep it in check, rather, is to have a second player just kind of always hovering around it. What's my favorite Pac-Man? The one I've probably played the most was Miss Pac-Man on Genesis. I don't know, though. I liked, uh... I liked the really jank Super Nintendo one, where it's not really Pac-Man, but it's like a goofy-ass adventure game. Although Pac-Man barely ever listens to the player in that game. <laughs> he just kind of does whatever he wants. Flicky! Yes! Oh no, that's way too expensive. We can't keep buying this. That was like half of our money. Yo, easy. This game's easy. Is what I would say if it didn't have like 29 rounds. It's something, it's somewhere close to 30. That's how many maps we'd have to go through to beat this game. I've got a hunch we're not going to make it that far, but we'll play this credit out. As far as I'm aware, you are not given 1-ups at any point. I don't even think you can buy them. Oh no. Oh, that seems good! Is the main character a sentient spaceship? That's our boy, Opa Opa, yep! Already spawned right on top of us. We got to round 10, I'm okay with that. That's farther than we would have gotten in any other Fantasy Zone game, because I don't think there's any Fantasy Zone games with 10 rounds. So... You know, were this any other game, we would have completed the game. I'm okay with that. We didn't actually get very far, though. <laughs> but we had, to, we had to show it off, because Fantasy Zone got mad sidetracked right about here. <laughs> Master System Pac-Mania is really good, except for one bad design flaw. The score is done using- Oh, I see. <laughs> Alright, well, we gotta- We gotta shimmy on over to- We gotta shimmy on over to the- To the Sega Game Gear. For this next one. We gotta- We gotta play- We gotta play Fantasy Zone- for the Sega Game Gear. The title would appear to just be Fantasy Zone. But as far as I'm aware, the full title of the game is actually Fantasy Zone Gear. As it is written on the title screen of the game. Yeah, even smaller, Opa! We can get smaller. We can get even smaller. Here we go. Yeah, Fantasy Zone Gear. Fantasy Zone. Gear. <laughs> Is it different than the Sega Master System one? Yes. There we go. We gotta see if there's lore. There might be lore. Always gotta we always gotta hold out for lore.
Yeah, we've reached the 90s. Can you imagine what life might be like? Oh, that's uh, that's our intro, is it? It just loops the title screen? I understand. Hold on, let's let's wait this out one more time. We're playing the US version, which is why it says 91, despite me writing 90 at the top. The original Japanese version came out a year earlier. I don't think there's a difference between the two versions. Yeah, it's the 90s, and there is time for Clax! How have I not streamed Clax yet? Slow Beef must be furious at me. Alright, fair enough. Alright, put me in. No, put me in. No, put me in, though. No, put me in, though. No, put me in, though! No, no. Okay. Alright, we're in. Welcome to the smallest fantasy zone yet. <laughs> Alright, we got cooked. Hold on, pretend you didn't see that. No one saw anything, right? Close your eyes, chat room. Hold on. Hold on, close your eyes. Wait. Wait, hold on. Keep them closed. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Alright, you can open them again. <laughs> You're doing so well. <laughs> yeah, we're just starting. That was the that was the demo reel that happened earlier. We have 2,000 gold. We can purchase a jet engine. And let's get the... Is there a twin bomb? <gasps> twin missile. Missiles are new. Missiles. Okay, so these are... These are Gradius missiles. Or the... Uh, <laughs> was it Gradius that had the, the ones that go up as well? Yeah, missiles! Alright, well, we've already wrapped up this stage. Oh, the Game Gear boss theme, though. Yo, what's up, Tuke? That's a good attack. That's his only attack! <laughs> if you were curious. That is what he does. <laughs> He is very red. Alright, we got him. Money! We're rich! Oh, it feels good. We're in Candle World. Backshot. Backshot is also new. shot we can buy a shield i believe the shield actually does work in this game so we'll buy that all right so we got a back shot we got a shield this will allow us to take a few hits oh the back shot seems handy we got every side covered every side being you know the two sides that there are. <laughs> yeah, he's in an orb! Look at this cute little shield. <laughs> I 
Is that all of them? No. Not the eyeballs. Oh no, there's shit everywhere! The thing about this, though, is that a lot of enemies don't fire at you in this game. Because, you know, they had to save... They had to save the sprite. They had to save sprites for the fucking sprite limit. So a lot of them try to hit you via contact damage. At least in these early stages. Eventually they will start shooting and then the frames will start dying as a result. I like that the, the entire shield rolls around when you're on the ground. <laughs> it's very strong. Yeah, what a boss fight, I says. Alright, we got him. There's some big coins! I think we got everything. I think we got every single coin. Twenty-two thousand doilers. What is the flash attack? Let's buy it. Let's experimentate. What is the flash attack? It's not an engine. Ah, it goes where the shield goes. What does that mean? Oh, is this a deal where I have to uh, hold down the attack button? I think I've got to hold down the attack button to activate it. Do the snowman wink? I hadn't been looking. Oh no. Oh no. I'm under attack. There are lips. I'm gonna regret turning that shield off. Actually, wait a second. This game allows you to pause it. And when you pause it, you get your, uh, you go back to the loadout screen, so you could change at will back to the shield. <laughs> As a feature exclusive to Game Gear Fantasy Zone. Yeah, it's pretty good. Is that everyone? No. Of course not. How foolish of me. How naive of me. Alright. What do we got? I understand. a prototype yellow devil. Do we just... Do we just shoot at it? I think we just shoot at it, yeah? And then we just kinda... We're not getting much feedback here, I'll be honest with you. Let's assume this is the correct play to be making. Ah, okay. They blow up individually. Good to know. F 
Flash might be good here. Can I switch mid-boss fight? No, I can't. There we go. <laughs> oh, that face is way better. He's pissed. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> That'd be a good emote, that boss. <laughs> That'd be th that's the whole emote. All right, hold on. Let me turn off auto fire because I have a hunch that flash attack requires me to hold it down. Yeah, so it's a Mega Man charge shot. Ooh, takes out bases in one shot. Turn up the volume, I got you. Hold on, I'm gonna crank it a bit. Uh, that would be... Eh. Eh. Let's kinda do... One of those moves. Alright. Walked right into the shop again, didn't I? The flash attack doesn't seem too bad, honestly. You can't, like, you can't fire while you're charging it up, obviously. But that seems a fair price to pay for this kind of firepower. That seems fair. Woo! If we want to use this, we're going to have to get better at dodging. <laughs> All right, maybe we can maybe we can just nuke this boss with it. Holy shit, this gun's good. <laughs> Yeah, we may have the speed tech. I think we figured it out. I think we- I think we- I think we've got figured out. We've got absolutely no rate of fire to speak of. But when we do shoot, that shit hurts. We're starting to get some enemies that actually fire at us. Sprite limit be damned. Oh, hello! What is this? <laughs> is this whole thing a hitbox? Oh, shit. I understand. That was a bad spot to get hit. <laughs> You have to hit it in the eyeball, perhaps. Let's try to bomb it in the eye. Let's assume that the eye is the weak spot. We've got no visual confirmation of this, but it feels right. Alright, that's a hitbox. 
Hitbox detected. Oh, you shoot them and they turn into, like, spread shots. In a way, that's easier to deal with. Because they don't, like, come all the way to the top of the screen when you do that. I feel a little boxed in up here, not gonna lie. Yeah, I think this is Darius. <laughs> this PS5. Okay, oh, that is the weak spot. Sir, I would prefer you be anywhere else on the screen right now. PS stands for Fantasy Star. If they announced Fantasy Star 5 after all these years, I would pop off. I would pop off super hard. Fantasy Star 4 came out fucking... When? The early 90s? Mid 90s? And then they kind of... Then they kind of just started doing PSO and then they never went back to the... To the RPG ones. <laughs> Yeah, there is the, uh, PSO2 expansion thing. It did look pretty hype, not gonna lie. Yeah, PSO2-2. That is the impression I got as well. Alright. We've got no lives, so we definitely gotta buy a few. Uh, let's get the back shot back. Back shot, we will go... Let's go Twin Bomb instead of... We'll go Twin Bomb instead of, uh, Twin Missile, because the Twin Missile seems... ...suspect. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Whitehound, thank you for the follow. We bought two lives. We got our lives back. Shit, did we buy another Flash? Should we? Let's hold off. Let's hold off on it. We'll buy a shield for now. I think we need the extra safety. Okay. Opa Opa has returned to the orb from whence he came. Oh, hello! Welcome to shit everywhere zone. I see we've entered the frame rate dimension. <laughs> the stage has layers. Absolutely. I can see each individual frame of this action. This game was designed so that you could experience every single frame. Is that all of them? Got a feeling. No. Yeah, Bal and Wonderworld seemed pretty, pretty interesting. I saw a lot of people comparing it to Knights. Which, visually, yeah, that's fair enough. But I was just watching the, the like, gameplay and it did not resemble Knights in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Oh, hello. It does look cool, though, yeah. Got 
your night's journey of dreams. It did seem more Billy Hatcher. I'm glad I'm not the only one who thought that. <laughs> oh. Alright, that's... That's gonna be tough to dodge. Yeah, it is cool to see Square doing things. Uh-oh. Maybe he'll just die. Maybe he'll just die. Maybe he'll just die. Maybe he'll die. Yes! Money! These coins are hard to collect for some reason. Okay, we got the big ones. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Oh, straight to the shop screen? This must be the end of the game. Jet engine. Uh, give me a back shot. Yeah, welcome. We're back to the boss rush. You know what that means? That means we should probably buy a flash. So we'll buy a flash. We'll buy it. We'll buy another one up. We'll buy the twin bomb. Yeah, Phoenix. Every time you get to ground level, Opa Opa starts walking around. It's great. It's incredible. All right. So let's just start flashing. We'll just- we'll just use the flash attack on all these bosses. <laughs> Yo, get cooked! Alright. Yes! Alright, we've got the strat. We've got a strat. We've got some sort of a strat. Tell me I can just destroy most of his face with this. <laughs> Damn, this weapon's good! At least for bosses. Holy shit! All right. Oh. Oh shit! Oh, that almost got us! Woo! Fucking waterfall attack. I was not prepared. We dodged it somehow. I don't think the flash attack goes through the... I don't think that goes through the propeller. I think we have to bomb around the propeller. Like, this is the only way to do it. Talking about Einhander? There's a fucking video game right there. <sighs> that that one's a, that's a scary bus. That one's a little scary. Holy shit! Okay, yeah, we take those all day. <laughs> All right, you got me. You got me fair and square. 
We've got two lives left. We'll go jet engine. Uh, we've got a hunch our weapon choice won't matter much here. Do, 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 da, na, 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 na. All right. Easy does it. Easy does it. Got him. But then there's more. <laughs> Look at this. This evil ship. Here's the thing, though. At this point, we've already beaten the game. This thing will shoot missiles at us. But eventually, it's going to hit us. And that's when our, uh, that's when our other Opa Opas show up and save the day! <laughs> the final boss was the giant ship, not the, uh, the small one afterwards. At that point, you've already won. Is this scene hitting you emotionally like it's hitting me right now? We got by with a little help from our friends. Yes, you can, Lordsy, but eventually... I mean, you can destroy that ship, but the missiles will chase you forever, and eventually you just you have to get hit by one of those missiles to progress. So yeah, they could have, I mean, they could have just ported, like, the arcade game onto the Game Gear. But they opted to make an entirely new game instead. Probably the better one. Probably the better option. Yeah, no text wall scrolling this time. At least so far, we're not sure. Shoutouts to Dirty, the programmer. <laughs> they would have had to sacrifice a lot, yeah. I mean, even just doing what they did, the, the frame rate very clearly had to take a hit. But they got some really detailed backgrounds out of it. They're some of the, like, they're some of the best stages I've seen in any game on the Game Gear. It's a very pretty game, very colorful. I do wish I had a Game Gear growing up. I would have I would have been super into it, but I didn't have one. Special thanks to Sega. I'm glad I'm not the only one who gets Neo Geo Pocket Color vibes from this game. Something about the way this game looks. <laughs> the end. We did it, chat room, as a team, as a unit. And then it dumps you back to the title screen. No lore! It's six double A's for one hour. Wish I had six double A's. Never had batteries for my fucking Game Boy. <laughs> So that's most of the, uh, that's most of the, like, pre... 
That's most of the, like, pre-Genesis shit. I can't say pre-Genesis because the Genesis was already out, but... That's most of the ones that were, um, developed for the Master System and Game Gear. I think there was another one for the Master System that required, like, a weird analog, like, paddle controller that was developed specifically for just a few games. Or it might have been for the Game Gear. But I don't think that's emulatable in any way, so we're not able to check that one out. Yeah, exactly! Galactic Protector is what I'm talking about. It's not really a Fantasy Zone game anyway, it just happens to star Opa Opa in a completely unrelated role. Maybe we'll get to that someday if the paddle controller becomes emulatable at any point. But no! We gotta check out some dank weird shit! We haven't even gotten to the super weird shit yet. Let's talk about some games that never actually came out, chat room. Let's talk about the cancelled Fantasy Zone cross Space Harrier crossover. Space Fantasy Zone. This game is unreleased. It never came out. It almost did. They bailed on it before it came out, but the game is finished, more or less. We're gonna play... What was finished? You're right, I'm making it up. As we speak, I commissioned this image. 4,800 yen. How much money would that have cost? How much would that have been? Forty-five bucks? That's not bad. This game is for the PC Engine CD. Sadly, it was canned before it came out. Oh, we're in. Oh, I should probably normalize this audio again. Welcome to the, uh, welcome to audio normalization. Ahoy, we're back. Fixing audio. Okay. That's my boy! That's my son! He tripped over the R. I love him anyway. Look at him. He's super good. <laughs> Yo, ABC's got the top score. Yeah, he's running. Oh, he's moving and grooving. 1991, this game would have come out. I mean, it's mostly finished. It's weird why they just decided not to ship it. I don't know. But we'll check out what is finished. We got game start and we've got configuration. Let's let's just leave that where it was. Hey chat room. Have you ever played Space Harrier? <laughs> We're missing all the enemy spawners. They're just... they're just rocks. They're just rocks for us to trip over. There's our trip animation. We can trip over them. <laughs> yeah, it's the only game where Opa Opa has a voice, I believe. Trees! We have a health bar at least. We can take a few hits. <laughs> the fucking tree boss. So it's got most of the bosses from the first game, I believe. Oh, 
it feels good. Welcome to the store! Welcome to Weaponolds! It's not McDonald's. How dare you insinuate such a thing. You've got a shop screen. This image right here? Should we get this chat room? Hear me out. Do we get this, uh, this super ripped guy down here? Do we make this an emote? Should we get, like, a... <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> anyway. Uh, we can we can upgrade our flex. We can get... We've got 33... No, we've got $37,000. So we can get the level 3 flex, which will increase the damage of each bullet. Each individual bullet. So we're going to do that. We're going to get the better bullets. We're going to get the... Uh, let's see here. <laughs> the cool sunglasses duck is very strong. Sadly, we cannot interact with sunglasses duck as much as I wish I could. There's a smile button. She smiles when you press the smile button. It's pretty good. You can also click on her directly, which you shouldn't do unless you're, you know, a terrible person. Nah, that'll do. Let's go. Is way out of pocket, Opa Opa. Oh no. The scenery is gonna become hard to dodge. Oh god! There's a big emphasis on clearing enemy waves in their entirety. So if a, if a wave of enemies shows up and you get rid of every single one of them, usually you're given like a thousand dollars for it. And given how expensive everything in the store costs, you really, you need all the money you can get. So there's a, there's a huge emphasis on clearing out entire waves. Something else that we're going to be probably abusing later on is tripping! Tripping just seems like a goofy little cute animation. But while you're tripping, you are completely invulnerable. So if you're really in trouble, you can lame it out by tripping on purpose. <laughs> oh, hello! Shit! All right, we got him. Adjusted for inflation, it's $77 for this game. Oh, we can almost afford the level four flex. But no, you know the smarter, you know the smarter thing to buy. We should purchase these. Or uh, this one. This will increase our maximum health every time we buy one of these. So we can buy two of these. Uh, let's get two of them. And we'll buy an umbrella, too. That's a barrier that'll... I think it'll make us invincible for, like... Six seconds? Or something? It's pretty good. We'll only use it if we have to, though. Oh no. The terrain. <laughs> the terrain is too tall! <laughs> you gotta weave through it at this point. Or just start abusing the trip, uh, the tripping frames. Shit! Oh, we're getting cooked. Getting absolutely smoked. Yeah, we're in cheese land! Finally. The cheese land representation that this stream has been missing.
like this version of the Hot Jams. It is, it's a weird like crossover track. It's Space Harrier and Fantasy Zone at the same time in this song. Oh, I thought we were done. We're not done! How foolish. How foolish of me to assume we were done! Maybe I'll just pop my barrier during the boss fight, and then we can just aim straight for him. That's what I'm gonna do. Gonna pop the barrier. Just melt him. <laughs> Good. All right. We need to heal up, because you only get one life in this game. That's all you get. What we're going to do is, uh, we'll buy another one of these. Let's see. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. More health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Nothing Excess? Welcome to Space Fantasy Zone. Yeah. This game is unreleased. This is the only playable build of the game. Thankfully, somebody got their hands on it, and they dumped it. Or else this would just have been lost to time forever. Oh, oh, big bucks. Ooh, we're getting big bucks now. Yeah, <laughs> the game- that is- that's the crime. The, the true crime here is that the game is close to over. Yo, Nab, who does nothing raiding with a party of five? Ooh, I don't know why that one in particular hurt my throat. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Nab. What were y'all up to? We're playing unreleased Fantasy Zone games. I say as a plural, but it's just the one. Oh, it's this guy. Ended with Metal Slug X. Good call. And two barriers for the road. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Yo, Dark Star, welcome to the fantasy zone. We're here. We're here in the fantasy zone. Oh my god, these enemies are super cute, though! I recognize those bullets. Those are some space harrier-ass bullets that are flying at us. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready! <laughs> Thank you for the follow, ass sniffer. That's a good name. Oh, shit. Much like in Fantasy Zone, you generally want to kind of spin in circles like this to dodge things. The problem with that strategy arises once the terrain gets in the way with your rotation.
So your secondary strat for safety, at least in this game, is to start tripping on rocks. You just lame it out for a while by tripping on something. Oh my god, his run animation! Oh shit, we've got a new view bot! Alright. Gotta do something about this, don't we? Oh, it looks like it passed. <laughs> I guess that was brief. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're fine. We very briefly had... Very briefly had a bot scare in the chat, but I guess it passed. Remind me to do that later, though. Nothing excess. I can definitely... I can definitely do that. Oh, I used a barrier right at the end. Like an idiot. Like an absolute buffoon. I think a viewbot is one of those things where you, you like, I think people purchase them to inflate their numbers. Raise your hand if you're a bot in chat. Raise your, raise your hand if you're a fictional, if you're a fictional human being. Show of hands. Wow, I can't believe this. What is the shower bomb? What is the shower bomb, chat room? Should we purchase a shower bomb? I'm buying one. Are right, we bought a shower bomb. And let's get max health and two of those. Smile. Good button. Good button, the smile button. She seems nice. Oh no. Oh, there's shit everywhere. Alright, now it's feeling more like Space Harrier. when the screen is just littered with shit. Unlike Harrier, though, we get to abuse iframes by tripping. I don't think Harrier gets that advantage. Yeah, I'll start tripping. I'll start tripping and lame it out. Fucking all day, are you kidding me? Terrain is a little absurd. Oh god! Let's use the barrier. We get a few seconds of peace and quiet. Are we clear? Are we are we clear? I think we're clear. Eyeball! The eyeball is back. I'm gonna shower bomb him. Oh, it drops leaves. Ah, we're dead. We're super dead, chat room. We're just dead now. <laughs> the looping audio. Yeah, we beat those default high scores, though. Crushed them. Absolutely crushed those default high scores. Alright, tell you what. Let's run it back. See if we can't do any better. Because it's not that long of a game anyway. I think we just gotta buy more barriers towards the end. I'm pretty sure that's all the tech that we need. 
is to just drown ourselves in iframes. Either by tripping or buying more barriers, and that'll just get us through the stages. That's a lot of money. Opa Opa's getting paid for this shit. So the faster you kill a boss, you can see a timer at the top right of the or top left of the screen. That's the boss timer. It doesn't like automatically die once it runs out, like some games would do. That just determines how much extra money you'll get when he dies. So we pretty much just got to prioritize maximum health. I think that's the play here. Whenever we get some money for it, just buy more max health. <laughs> yeah, hi, what do you sell? Could you imagine if they sold individual invincibility frames? It's a good business model. Ooh, the bullets fly a little slow. How many Opa Opa games did you miss? I don't know when you dipped out, but we played Two Master System games and a Game Gear game. And now we're getting into the really dank shit, because this game never even came out. A fact that still makes me sad. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, we're getting roasted. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, we're playing Space Harrier, sort of. So we pretty much gotta spend all that on healing. Because we got absolutely booty blasted. I suppose the PC Engine CD is fairly obscure anyway. <laughs> so even if it had come out, how many people would have bought it? Maybe that was the issue, is they chose an, uh, they chose an obscure platform in the first place. Oh yeah, not even Rondo would have saved it. Somehow, we have done... We did better on our first run than on this one. We are getting absolutely roasted on this second attempt. I think we used up all of our good gamer juice. <laughs> ah, shit. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, we're getting smoked. That's fine. E. Perfect. <laughs> Let's take one more whack at it. 
What we forgot to do is buy the uh, bullet upgrade. That's probably the first thing we should always buy. Buy the uh, buy the best bullet upgrade we can. We had a we had a measly level one flex. That's where we veered. Yeah, PC Engine, also known as the Turbo Graphics 16. I always thought the PC Engine was a cooler sounding name. Oh, we're getting we're getting fat stacks this time. Alright, we're gonna buy. Time to purchase a better flex. No, no, where's my where's my big level three flex? Nope, nope, nope. Uh, 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 uh. Menus? Okay. <laughs> All right, so now now all of these bullets will do more damage than previously. That's all we need. It's all that matters. We don't need any of those fancy sub weapons in the shop if we can just upgrade our base bullets to be as good as they can be. What we should buy though are a fuck ton of barriers and maximum health upgrades if we can. doing good in the money department thus far. Depending on how quickly we can get through these boss fights, we could potentially end up with a fuck ton. Oh, we got art? Oh, let me see the art. Yeah, wow, that's a sick look at Opa Opa. Holy shit. <laughs> that may be that may be the coolest maybe the coolest Opa Opa has ever looked. <laughs> Two of these. One of these, two barriers. Okay. <laughs> My ulterior motive. Yo, go bolt. Thank you for the thank you for the host. Think we're the thick host. My ulterior motive is for at least one person who didn't know who Opa Opa was to be an Opa Opa fan by the end of the stream. That was uh, that was my ulterior motive today. But also, just I realized I had never dedicated an entire stream to like a shmup series, and I wanted to see how that would go. Trying to force myself to get good at shmups. <laughs> Are 
Are we clear? Are we good? Nope. I think I got baited by that last time, too. Ooh, we're definitely gonna have to pop a barrier. For this boss fight, we're definitely gonna have to just cheese it. I'll do it, though. I'm not above it. Got him! Yeah, we did it. We did the thing. What level is this? Level four? Okay. You can get some good money on this stage. The enemy patterns aren't that bad. And the terrain tends not to get in the way that often. One of the more civilized stages. So you can use it to clear these waves to get... Fat stacks. <laughs> I just lined up for that one, huh? <laughs> Don't mind me. Tactically tripping over things. Tactical tripping sounds like a... Sounds like a joke in any other game, but it's real. It's real and it's in this video game. There we go. We got three shields. It's the most head-ass shit. <laughs> we got three barriers that we could just use to cheese shit. Ow. Love these things. They're super good. Are we the ship, or is someone piloting the ship? I am of the firm belief that Opa Opa is just a sentient spaceship. We're never seen... We're never seen getting into it. Nor is a pilot ever shown getting out of it. Opa Opa is just a friend-shaped... ...spaceship. That's what I can tell you. Pop a barrier. Just ignore the stage for a few seconds. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do another. Try and speed run the boss. 
Get as much bonus money as we can. We only got a little bit. No. No. Uh, uh. No, let's get more barriers. <laughs> I think we always just need more barriers. I'm okay with this setup. I think that's all we need. Chad is horny again? I don't know what to tell you. I have no advice. This is like the least... This is like the least horny stream. <laughs> I don't know how it ended up this way. Did we play Fantasy Zone the Maze? We sure did. We didn't beat it though because I'm not super I'm not super good at it. I got I got destroyed, not gonna lie to you. We got to like stage 10. What age is Opa Opa? The mental imagery that has appeared in my head is so abhorrent to me that I must ask you to quell this line of questioning. <laughs> Alright, we're doing it though. We're gaming! Yeah, we got top power a few times. Level 7. This is functionally the final stage. And it's pretty fast. You fly a lot faster in this stage than all the previous ones. And there's just shit everywhere. It's time to start relying on tripping to save us. Glorious tripping based iframes. Oh, no. This terrain is rough! Yeah, it's a strong... Tripping is very strong in this game. Go, Bolt. You can rely on it. You get three hops for free, completely invincible. Okay. Oh, it's this guy! I remember you! <laughs> Alright, so this is the, uh... This is the final boss that we are preparing for. I don't think that they, uh... I think that they planned for this final boss to be a little longer. It's going to be very brief. In fact, we might just sit there for a little bit so that we can hear the uh, the jams. Oh no, there's a stage eight. Never mind. We got to go through stage eight. Let's get through stage eight first. It's time to trip on more things. Tactically, of course. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Yeah, welcome to the fantasy zone. I didn't catch that name. I think I saw the word Mario in there. Thank you so much. Yeah, they're all space needles. Wait, it's all space needles? <laughs>
Yeah, is this how Toronto looks? I've never been. I can only assume this is accurate. Oh shit, we're gonna we're gonna die. Alright, fair enough. It's a pretty unforgiving game. E Where's E2? Hold on. Hold on. E2. <laughs> it's the CN Tower, yeah. There is a final boss, but it's uh it's a very brief final boss. You can reasonably take him out in like 10 seconds and then the game is over. There's not really anything past that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It'd be cool if this game actually had come out. I wish it did. Maybe they thought that it wasn't like impressive enough for the hardware. Maybe they thought that it didn't make enough use of the CD format for it to warrant a purchase or I don't know. Maybe they just thought nobody would buy a game for the PC Engine CD. But for whatever reason, this game got cancelled. And this is a... That's all we can that's all we can do is observe that in hindsight. Let's play some games. Let's play some space... Uh, not Space Harrier. Let's play some Fantasy Zone games that actually did come out. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure the game was almost done. I mean, there is a functional final boss that's- I don't- he doesn't really have much of a moveset. He's probably the easiest boss in the game, so I guess they stopped right about there. Yeah, let's play a game that does exist. Let's, uh, let's hop, skip, and jump over to the Sega Genesis. Because we gotta play SUPER FANTASY ZONE! This game came out in 1992. It's pretty sick, I like this game a lot. Remember the Sega Genesis? I remember. <laughs> Long legs. <laughs> Did we do an Alex Kid stream once? I have only I've only streamed an Alex Kid game as part of the Shinobi stream. Uh we could do like a dedicated Alex Kid stream sometime, yeah. I'd be I'd be down for that. I think we're going to play the Japan version of the game. We got to play the Japan version of the game, but we have to put the Genesis into USA mode. Because if, uh, if the game detects that it is in an American Genesis, it changes all the text to English. <laughs> so we can get English, we can get English lore, even though we're playing the Japan version. But because of that, this is, uh, there's going to be some grammar, grammar alert. <laughs> You think the EU version has the same grammar issues? I guess that's just... I guess that's just how we gotta deal with it. Oh, here we go. Get this lore in. Ah, shit. I don't think we put it in USA mode. Hold on. I think I fucked it. I fucked it, chat room. Wait, hold on. Let me hard reset. And then we gotta... Uh, 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 country set to USA. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> Or maybe I have to reset it now that I already have the game on. Let's check that. Okay, now it should work. Yeah, I fucked it! Let's run that back. Yes, yeah, super Opa. The greatest Opa that ever opened. 1992 was a good year. Now it's in English. In the space year 623 X. God damn it. Fucking. 6 <sighs> Fucking. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. Fixed it. I fixed it, chat room. I fixed it. Don't worry. People discovered an irregularly gravitating phenomenon in the universe near the planet Minan! Star of Corpse Souls in the Frontier Fantasy Zone. 
they launched a space patrol mission in search of the mystery. On the way to their mission, they encountered an onslaught of a weird military troop and were robbed of the line of of. That's two ofs in a row to the operation base back home. The Wicked Troop turned out to be what they call Dark Manon Force, who was plotting to conquer the Fantasy Zone. Ooh, look at this shot. The Invader Troop made their way to seizing all the planet metropolises with all the brutal acts of plunder and slaughter behind them. Yeah, the Dark Melon Force. Opapa, father of the hero Opa Opa, foresaw the deployment of the Dark Manon Force and launched a defense aggression. His attempt turned out to be futile. He was beaten down by the enemy's mighty force and was fatally wounded. <laughs> oh no. Now it's time for the hero, Opa Opa, to rise and face the challenge to revenge his father's murder, to restore peace to the Fantasy Zone. Yeah, Fantasy Zone's got hella lore. I mean, we could turn on arcade music, but I'm pretty sure this game has, like, new jams, yeah? We already played the arcade version. <laughs> I feel like people would probably prefer to hear the new jams. Alright, anyway. Uh, this is not... This is not what I'm looking for. Oh yeah, they're both definitely hot jams. Can't... Can't, uh... Can't deny that. What do the flowers at the bottom signify? They signify death, they could, possibly. We'll never know. Don't you dare run that intro again. Don't do it. I got my eye on you. Super Fantasy Zone. But that's what's great about Fantasy Zone, Captain Nonchalanto. You're given this super heavy, like, weirdly dark storyline, but then you get into the game, and it's just a fun little... It's all Samba music, and we're just having a fun time. It's only... It's only, like, sort of dark. It usually gets dark at the end, but the rest of the game is just a fun, colorful time. It's just a little... it's just a... It's just a party in space. Mushroom almost fell on top of us. Ooh. That's a jam. Woo! Okay, we got him. Money! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, Tin Pot. I'm trying, try not to hurt myself. Let's buy some quartet missiles. Let's buy. We can afford a shield. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, fuck it. Let's get a shield. This goofy-ass bubble we're in. The quartet missiles are pretty damn nice. Shoots missiles in every which way. 
if it notices an enemy nearby, it sometimes tracks. But only, like, sometimes. It's odd. <laughs> I have not streamed Quartet yet, but I have played it. What do the rubber boots do? More on that as they become relevant. We don't need them just yet. Okay, we're fine. All right, we have an opening. <laughs> no, most frequently, Zetsu, the missiles will just do whatever they want. They sometimes track, but most of the time not. It's not really, it's not really up to you if they track. <laughs> depends on, depends on how they're feeling that day. Our shield ran out. They're expensive though. No, we can't buy, we can't buy any more. Let's do... Yeah, fuck it. We'll get these purchases out of the way. The super lights and the rubber boots are specific to one stage apiece. We don't need them yet, but they have been purchased. The heavy bomb is great. Heavy bomb is consistently good throughout the entire series. Music is great. <laughs> Whoop! That almost hit us. Dropped right on top of us. See if they give us a shot balloon. Yes, sir. Let's get our shit back. And we'll buy the one up while we're at it. Yeah, no health bar. Although the same could be said of, you know, any of the arcade ones. Are we playing Darius all of a sudden? money. So prior to this stage, we purchased the super light. It's thanks to the super light that we can see as well as we can currently see in this dark cave. Our vision would be even worse without them. 
this is the only stage the super light comes into play. Expensive. It's not that expensive, I suppose. It's on the cheaper side, honestly. But if you were to happen to die, you'd have to buy it again, which kind of sucks. It's a little bit of a problem. The last, uh, where's the last generators at? I would prefer to get out of this stage before something terrible happens. Of course, once the boss appears, we can see perfectly fine. <laughs> Damn, these missiles are pretty good for this. He's got built-in LED, yeah. Got him. Ooh, we got most of that money. All right. We're gonna buy the rubber boots ahead of time. And just, we're just gonna assume that we survive long enough to make use of them. We might not, though. Yeah, grandiose. No relation. Okay, they drop enemies directly below them. That's good info. We almost got fucking sat on. Enemies as far as the eye can see. Oh no. I do not feel safe in this video game. Yeah, why are they shooting peas at us? It's fucked up, right? Do you think Samba de Amigo was inspired? by this game. Because this game is basically just Samba music until the bosses show up. <laughs> okay. They move a little erratically. Understood. Run it back. Whoop. We can only aim at the one whose eyes are open. What? Oh, that's rough. <laughs> now run it back.
Ooh, it looks like he gets a little faster when he's low. That's a problem. <laughs> We definitely gotta buy more lives, though. We'll buy a laser. We gotta buy some rubber boots. And we'll buy a one-up. This is what the rubber boots are for. It allows us to stand down here. Play those little blue boots. Oh. <laughs> oh, this game gets a tough. He's got little booties on. It's amazing. Opa Opa is the greatest thing that has ever been. I forgot to buy boots. <laughs> we just fucking stepped on that and died. I think we're gonna have to run this one back, chat room. I forgot we lost the boots when we died. That's an important detail. <laughs> you hate to see this type of thing happen. These enemies are a problem, because they kind of stay glued to the screen right where they show up. They scroll strangely as the screen scrolls. The first are the... The first Fantasy Zone did the same thing with a few of the enemy types. It can make them tricky to deal with. Alright, fair enough. <clears throat> Let's see if we can't do any better next time. No, put me back in. Can't look at the ground on that stage. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little rough to look at. Not gonna lie. He's got our number. Oh, we don't need to take a death on the first stage. <clears throat> Wait, we probably gotta fix our buttons after a hard reset. Ha! Ah! We're back. <laughs> yeah. That's a fantasy zone staple. You get a minute to think about what you did wrong when you die. Which is extra good if you forget to buy the rubber boots and then you stand on the ground on the, uh, the electric stage. Definitely speed ran that shit. Is this essentially a remake of Fantasy Zone 1? Eh, I wouldn't say so. That attack can be a problem. That attack's a little rough for a first boss, not gonna lie. <laughs> the anti-rental measures. 
gotta have some anti-rental measures. We can probably get by on the, uh, the big wings as opposed to the, like, jet engine. Every stage is a rental stopper. There's definitely... There's a lot of arcade games that'll specifically do that, too. Like, there's a lot of arcade games that have, like, some kind of gatekeeper... Some kind of gatekeeper stage or a gatekeeper boss designed to put an end to your first credit. <laughs> Creating that gap at the start of this boss fight is stressful. <laughs> How did Opa Opa's father have Opa Opa? Let's not let's not think about it too hard. Cause I don't think we're gonna like the answers we come up with. Not too bad. Which boss was this? I've already forgotten. Fish! I forgot about the fish! Honestly, I'm kind of liking the the big wings over the over the jet engine. I'm actually finding it a little easier to dodge things because the big wings are slightly slower, so you can move a little bit more precisely. Oh, we gotta buy the super light. Definitely gotta buy this. Now we can at least see horizontally. <laughs> Thankfully, whenever there are bullets on screen, you can see them through the darkness. They won't just, like, pop in because you can't see them. They will show up from... In the shadows, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. So they at least thought of that. I imagine while this game was in development, that was not a thing, and they realized that they were getting cooked in their own video game, so they were like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> Make it so you can see bullets at least.
Oh, maybe it's safer to be on the bottom? I can't tell. Eh, I guess they're about the same, about the same amount of space. Oh shit, we got hit by the, uh... <laughs> we got hit by his hand. All right, fair enough. So now we have to stay at the top of the screen. Because we've got to drop bombs on him like this. Does the boss have a mustache? It does look that way. I would say so. We're getting, we're getting clipped by that hand. He's waving it. Wavy, wavy arm flailing. Goofy ass. This boss feels like it would have a blind spot somewhere. The Skylark, thank you for the follow. I feel like there's a blind spot somewhere. I wonder. There's no info online about the deep lore of Fantasy Zone. There should be. It's a crime. It's a crime that there isn't. We almost got clipped by that arm again. Oh no. Yes! Alright, we got most of it. I can't complain. Thankfully, at this stage of the game, most of the, uh, generators drop a ton of money. Yeah, we bought some more lives. We had to, because we, uh, we dropped two of them to the same boss fight. That's not a good place for us to have died twice, but, you know. Gotta do what you gotta do. The longer you stay, the longer you stick around on a stage, the the less value the coins have, I realize. Presumably as a way to discourage you from staying on the same stage forever, just farming infinite money. I did not see him. <laughs> he was ready. Hey, how nice of them to give us uh, the shop balloon right before the boss fight. Yo, what's up, Haita? Tell Opa Opa to hydrate, you got it. Yes! Alright, we're learning. We're figuring it out. We're learning matchups. Go wide beam. And a shield, because I don't feel safe.
Now, the shield, I believe, also runs on a timer, and it's not like a hit. It's not based on, like, hits or anything. I think it just runs out at some point. Yeah, it's starting to fade out. Oh, I think that bullet spawned in right when that guy did. That's fucked up. All right. All right, we gotta buy more. buy another one. Yeah, the ground is made of lasers at all times. Oh, this enemy sucks. <laughs> This seems to be the gatekeeper stage. That's preventing us from seeing the rest of the game. We haven't even seen the boss on this one yet. Never mind. <laughs> we can't go too fast, I understand. No, run it back. <laughs> There's an interesting, there's an interesting feeling that you get on that stage because you want to go fast. You want to be over with that stage as quickly as possible. But at the same time, you can't go fast because you'll run straight into an enemy. It seems to be more true of that stage than the previous ones. It's all right, we can speed run this easy shit now. It is kind of magical sound, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> I knew we were going to get hit by that attack eventually. We had to. <laughs> I do like the quartet missiles, though. I think the play is definitely to just stick with those at all times. They seem pretty good. Kawaguchi to Dragon Ball VR VS 2. I didn't know that. We dodged right, and then we got hit, and then we dodged left, and we also got hit. So I guess the play there is just to get directly underneath it. That's what we gotta do. We can do that. <laughs> now that you mention it, sounds like Magical Sound Shower. Now I can't unhear Magical Sound So we're gonna get directly beneath it this time. There we go. Ooh, we got every coin. Feels good. It 
is a little spooky, isn't it? Why did I go in here? I don't need any of these at the moment. I almost tricked myself into thinking that missile belonged to an enemy. <laughs> I almost tried to swerve around my own missile. Alright, bring it on. Retro City, thank you for the follow. There we go. That's what we're looking for. More of those. You send harder bosses. It's all right. At least, at least two of these bosses so far have had our number. <laughs> How am I doing? I'm just, I'm big chilling. Big chillin' playing some Fantasy Zone today. I don't know if we're gonna beat this one or the next one we have planned, but we're gonna we're gonna give it another go. We're using we're using Fantasy Zone as a disguise for this to be more of a general get good at shmups stream. Oh yeah, the boss music's great. That is true of every single Fantasy Zone. A Can't see shit in this cave! Now we can. find that there's a need to go slow on this stage in particular. It's because you've got no idea what the fuck you're looking at. Oh, 
Oh, what are we talking about in chat? We're talking about thrift shop YouTube channels or something? I'm only, I'm only glancing. I'm in hyper-focus mode at the moment. I'm so sorry. There we go. All right. It would seem... It would seem that he, his, his arms wave around a bit more the lower he gets on health. That is what appears to be going on here. Like, he gets wavier the closer he is to dead. Ah, shit. We got clipped again. <clears throat> We're gonna learn our lesson someday, chat room. Just you wait. You've got to go out to the sides to drop bombs, but you don't want to go so far to the side that the arm clips you. You gotta be careful. Yeah, you pretty much want to stay right above him. Now that we're down to the regular bomb, though, we have to drop these from an angle. This seems like a boss that you really don't want to die on, because if you get... If you're forced to use the regular bomb like this, you're, you're gonna be in trouble. Hold on, let's do an experiment. Okay, I wanted to see if, uh... The, I wanted to see if the guns could aim horizontally. I wanted to see if there was a blind spot right there, but there's not. <laughs> Alright, tell you what. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come back to this one. We're gonna come back to this one some other time, because there's one more Fantasy Zone game. Yeah, failed experiments are still data. We definitely gotta... We gotta beat this one at some point, but... We're gonna need... We're gonna need all the time we can get for... For the real shit. Hold on. We gotta... We gotta bring this back. We gotta come back to Fantasy Zone 2, chat room. The Tears of Opa Opa. We played this once before. We played this once before, this very stream. That was the, that was the second game we played. This game came out twice, though. Once in 1988. And then again... In 2008, by Sega and M2, we're going to have to, I think we're going to have to fix our aspect ratio. This is the one that came out for 3DS, yeah? I believe? Yeah, 12 years ago. It's not, it's not really that retro, is it? <laughs> there we go. Let's put it in 4-3 for the stream. <laughs> yeah, it got re-released on 3DS. This is the, uh... I guess this is, this is their take on what Fantasy Zone 2 would have looked like... ...had it come out for arcades originally. As opposed to it... as opposed to them porting, like, a Master System game. I think there's lore. Here we go. A courageous hero called Opa Opa. Oh, wait, I gotta fix the title. Wait. Despite sharing the same title as uh, the other game, the, the title of this game is still Fantasy Zone 2, The Tears of Opa Opa. To differentiate, most people just call this one Fantasy Zone 2 DX. I don't think that's the official title in any, in any way, but that's what people call this version. 
a courageous hero called Opa Opa. Anaya, oh, I didn't have enough time. Ten years have elapsed, and the fantasy zone has expanded its territory several fold. In deep contemplation, Opa Opa recalls to mind the battle he fought ten years ago, and wonders who was the mastermind behind their leader. So there's, they're following up the first game again. The foremost in his thoughts is the whereabouts of his father, who disappeared after the truth became known that he was the enemy leader. Yeah, they actually developed this on a uh, System 16 board. History is repeating itself, and the planets that make up Fantasy Zone once again find themselves being victimized by the mastermind of the Ninan Planet Forces, who is using them secretly construct a huge fortress! I love how the text gets huge for that. In the Fantasy Zone, to put an end to their ambitious plans, just as he did ten years ago. Opa Opa promptly takes off for the fantasy zone. Nice title drop. We're gonna have to turn this up, apparently. Let's crank it a bit. There we go. Put me in. I believe, uh, I don't know if Nanan or Minan is correct. I couldn't tell you which one is the correct one. So yeah, despite, you know, despite this being a game that came out 12 years ago, this is made on, like, 30-year-old hardware. <laughs> Which is probably why Mayhem can run it at all. Now this is important, chat room. This game has three endings. And we're gonna try and get them all. I can't promise that we will, but... What we're gonna do first is we, gotta, we have to get the bad ending first, don't we? To do that, we're just gonna pretend as if we don't actually understand the gimmick of this video game. We're gonna play this game how I imagine somebody who isn't aware of how this game works. Well, the thing about the neutral and good endings are, is they're, they're kind of, like, tied to each other. I mean, we could if, if you wanted to get the good ending first, we totally could. That would require the strategic placement of a save state right at the end, so we wouldn't have to run the game twice to get the good and neutral ones. Actually, I kind of like the sound of that. Hold on. We might as well get the nooch first. Fuck it. That's the harder one to get regardless, so I feel as though we might as well... Yeah, this has the warps. There's an important distinction, though, between the warps in the original and the warps in this game. These warps do not just take you to a different room. These take you to the bright and dark halves of each map. They exist in the same time and space, so if we take out one of these generators in one area, it will be a it'll also die in the other one. More importantly, depending on which area we are in, that affects the strength of the bosses. We're in the dark area right now, which means this boss is going to be a little harder than usual. But he's still the first boss, so, you know. A yeah, what a guy. Yeah, we'll try and get the uh, we'll try and get the neutral and good endings first. Fuck it. That's gonna require us to place a save state right at the end, so that we don't have to run the game all the way back just to do things almost entirely exactly the same. Hopefully that is fine. Volume kind of low. I can turn it up. Let me... 
Let me turn the game up without turning the rest of the shit up. Maybe that's fine. There are seven stages in this game before the boss rush. We need to make sure that at least three... No, we need to make sure that at least four of those bosses were defeated on the dark side of the map as opposed to the bright side. This is, uh, this is one such boss where we're going to fight him on the bright side, because this is a fucking gatekeeper boss if ever there was one. I have a lot of trouble with this boss, so we're going to fight the easier version of it. I am fully of the belief that this is the gatekeeper boss designed to get more quarters out of you. Welcome to the fantasy get ready. Ah, shit. Nintendo K, thank you for the follow. <laughs> yeah, if you die to a, if you die to a boss in this game, you are at least allowed to buy a new engine to make dodging more possible. We fought the bright side version of the boss and we still died. That's not a good look. But that's how it goes. <laughs> yeah, they spin at different speeds. I think it depends on how damaged they were at the time. Now there's an important there's an important gimmick chat room. If we buy a weapon, you know like the wide beam, the weapons that have a finite amount of uses. You still see the uh you still see the meter in the top right for, like, how much ammo for it we have, or how much longer it'll last, but... If you have one of these equipped and you take a hit, you actually do not die in this game. You just lose that weapon. So it's actually... very smart to always have one of these. And they're not that expensive. So we're gonna try and keep buying wide beams. Or keep buying the, uh, seven-way shots or whatever. Because at least as long as you've got one of those, you essentially have a shield. Yeah, a weapon is an extra hit. At least in this video game. Yeah, and the special weapons can be reused. At least the, uh... Like the big bombs. The, like the... The heavy bomb you can reuse, I believe. Ice Cube! Remember this guy? <laughs> yeah, Frost T, that's the one. Oh, can I get any more? I cannot. <laughs> hey, looks familiar, I fucking bet. So essentially, what we need to do every time we get to a new stage is we gotta try and flip over to the bright side of the stage as quickly as we can. Because as soon as we do that, a shop will appear. And then we can buy a weapon, and we can leech off that weapon for a bit. And if we get hit, so be it. At least we didn't die.
Not getting any portals, though. This is a stage I'd prefer to fight the easier version of the boss in anyway. So I'm totally okay with flipping over to the bright side for this one. We can buy... We can buy the twin big shot. It's pretty cheap. Yeah, the stage isn't an eyesore. The stage itself is a lot less dangerous, too, when you're on the bright side. There aren't as many tough enemies around. They're not firing as much at you. It is just, in general, a more pleasant experience. The dark side version of this boss I find to be completely impossible, so I just prefer not to engage with it. <laughs> Welcome to the frame rate zone! Yeah, welcome to the frame rate zone, get laggy. Yeah, we got most of that money. Alright. That's not too bad. Uh Ooh, triple bombs. This is pretty good. Let's buy the fire bomb. Cause that's mad good to just always have. Buy another twin big shot. This is the only other stage I would prefer to stay on the bright side for, so we're just gonna... We're gonna stick with it. And then the rest of the bosses, we gotta do the hard way. If we fight a fourth boss... On the bright side, we will not be able to get the best ending. Of the seven bosses, four of them have to be dark side to get the good ending. Yo, Japanese arcade rules, thank you for the follow! Welcome to the fantasy zone! We're quite literally in the fantasy zone today. This was the, uh, this was the boss from the... This was the fairly harmless boss on Sega Master System, who just... The face that pops in and out of the screen. <laughs> He's at least a little better now. A little. This boss is impossible on 3DS hard mode. I'll take. I've never played that version. I'll take your word for it. So now we gotta go back to. We gotta handle the rest of the stages in uh, dark side mode, which could be a huge blow up. But we gotta do it. How many Fantasy Zone games have we shown so far? Like, six? I think? This would be, like, number seven, I think. Yeah, this is on 3DS. Specifically this Fantasy Zone 2 and not the original Fantasy Zone 2. It's weird how this came out twice. I like to call this game Fantasy Zone 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> We need to... Here we go, dark side warp. We just barely warped over in time. Yeah, it is cyber lip, isn't it? Somehow it all comes back to cyber lip. 
I love that game. I love me some Cyberlip. It's not often that an arcade game is known for its twist ending more than anything else. All right. Ooh, clean! Oh, strangely clean! Uh-oh. Bright side, yes! All right, give me a store. Just so we can survive for a while. <laughs> Am I interested in streaming old Final Fantasies? Yeah, I could. Is that a thing that you'd want to see? Because I could. I'm not opposed to that idea. We got to flip back to the dark side. Ooh, the stage is a nightmare. Ah! That seems correct. Let's see if we can get to a portal. We have to make it to a portal so we can buy some shit real quick. There's one. All right. Stress. Welcome to welcome to stress zone. Get ready. Yeah, give me a seven way. It worked to the cowards. I had to. They forced my hand. <laughs> Do it. Woo! It's a lot of money! Oh, we're rich! Now, we'll have to create a save right here. And we'll get the neutral ending first, and then we'll just come back to this point, and then we'll do it the quote correct way and get the good ending as well. Because you have to do this to get them both, and might as well do it this way, otherwise, we gotta play through the game three times instead of two times. <laughs> save states are not officially supported for this machine. So this save state might not even work properly. That'll add to the drama a bit. <laughs> yeah, it does save time. I can't complain. Uh, Let's get some fire bombs. Fuck it. Yeah, drop tiers. What are the drop tiers? Isn't that interesting? Uh-oh. We'll try and... We'll try and just nuke most of the bosses with the firebomb. Here we go. Yeah, we gotta do the boss rush. Every Fantasy Zone game's got the... Gotta do the boss rush. Oh, he's good. Duplicate the window, have two mayhems. It's not a terrible idea, honestly. There are a couple arcade games that I actually did want to try that with. Just so we can show off version differences. It's like I wanted to run... Uh... Oh, I'm getting absolutely bodied. Might have to load that state just to fucking... just to not die to this guy. I don't want to do that, though. Let's stick with our strat. Hold on. I have a plan. 
It's not a great plan. Not a hundred percent sure how I dodged any of those, but I'll take it. What'd you miss while you were out? You missed, uh... Actually, I don't know when you left. You may have missed Super Fantasy Zone for the Genesis, but we weren't able to beat it. <laughs> yeah, we definitely, uh, we definitely got some lucky dodges there. I've always... I don't know why, there's something about that boss in particular that's super hard for me to deal with. I've always found that guy way harder than every other boss in the game. There's something about him. All right, you got me. You got me fair and square. What if Super Fantasy Zone was a fucking... What if it was a Super Nintendo game? How strange would that be? Yeah, might as well try the heavy bomb. Why not? Just drop a heavy bomb on him. Heavy bomb is generally good. Uh-oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that is stress inducing, is what this is. All right. Buy a couple of those. We cannot. We can't buy any more of those fancy weapons. So we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to do this with our bombs. We're just gonna have to make this shit happen. If nothing else, the bombs are good at killing the frame rate, which can make dodging a little easier. So there is that. Time for two auto-fire buttons. It would probably get the job done. But there are instances where you have to hold down the bomb button in this game. And you wouldn't want auto-fire for that, obviously. Nice. There are a few bullets on the screen. There's a few more bullets that I bargained for. What?
Oh, there you are. This is not a good spot to be! Uh oh Shit! <laughs> Let's see here. Let's buy ourselves... Eh, we can't really buy anything, though. Yes, not an easy game. Yeah, we have $200,000, but we happen to need something that costs $200,000. Then again, I suppose we're going for the neutral ending first, so we are totally free to spend that. Yeah, there's a neutral, and a good, and a bad ending. Imagine an arcade game with three endings. How wild is that? Alright. Now we gotta do the... We gotta do Cyber Lip. Gotta fight Cyber Lip again. Come on. Do it, coward. All right. Despite being, like, the stage seven boss, I've always found this one, like, pretty doable compared to the rest. I don't know what it is about it. Basically, you just aim at the dark projectiles that the white one is shooting, and you hit them and it aims at the dark one. Tell me if this looks familiar. I don't know if we're going to be able to cheese this one, though. Maybe. Gotcha, bitch! Check this out, chat room. What if I told you we got life bars all of a sudden? He killed us on contact. <laughs> no problem, though. Let's take some shit with us. Let's go. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get the wide ready. beam, twin bombs. Buy some one-ups. Yeah, mutually assured destruction. Since we don't have to worry about buying the expensive shit, we are totally free. To buy all those lives. Oh, 
What was the tier? That's not important right now. Uh oh. Ah, shit. <laughs> I find that the best way to deal with that is to either buy a really good engine or to buy, like, a laser beam, for example, like this, and just take the hit by using your weapon. That requires you to still have your weapon by the time it gets there, though. Uh-oh. 16-ton weight one-shots it, yeah. The same could probably be said of the firebomb here. I bet we can just firebomb it. Let's try that out. We've got no money left, though. We'll go, we're, we're gonna, we'll bank on the firebomb. <laughs> that didn't quite work. Yeah, oopsie, oopsie. We'll see if we can cheese it. That's pretty much your only option right here. There we go. The main way you're going to die to Opa Opa here is on contact. Like, the thing you're probably most likely to die to here is the just him running into you. Got him. Hey, we still got a 1cc by the narrowest of margins. The absolute narrowest of margins. <laughs> I'll take that 1cc any day. Yeah, here's the neutral ending. Who is the enemy's mastermind? Though the riddle was not solved, the war came to an end. Peace will be restored to the fantasy zone. Space year 1432 2906. The tears of Opa Opa. He's crying down there. I feel bad for him. We could not have possibly cut that any closer. That was our last life and we had no money. And then the game loops, of course. However, we gotta go back in. We gotta go back. Because we forgot something. See these drop tiers? Pretty fucking expensive, aren't they? We gotta get back to the uh, final bus. <laughs> we gotta get back to the other Opa Opa. The very same Retro Omega. Alright, now that the 1cc is secured, <laughs> I don't feel nearly as stressed. No more stress. We're stress-free. We got a 1cc in this hard-ass video game. I will take it. Ow. <laughs> I 
<gasps> I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea, chat room! <laughs> ah, shit, we still died. It was almost worth it. Tell you what, let's just run it back. <laughs> just run that back. <laughs> it wasn't a good idea, but we very briefly experimented with an idea. Yeah, Stevie, if you die, you'd have to rebuy the tears. That's why going for the good ending is such a... Is such a... <laughs> it, it's not an insurmountable task, but... You're basically banking it all on the one or two times you can buy the tears. Some secret one and done shit, yeah. The fireball is very good. It's, I mean, it's pretty much just for taking out the generators and the bosses. You wouldn't want it any other time, really, because the rate of fire is so bad. <laughs> you can't fire very frequently, so shit's gonna be attacking you from every which way. Sure is fire! Did anybody order any fire? Okay. There you are. I don't like that you're in the middle of the screen, my guy! Got him. Okay. Cyber lips, not too bad. One of the easier bosses, even on, like, even on the dark side mode. This will be the time that we die to this boss, though. Everything else up to this point went pretty well. So this will be the time. <laughs> this will be the time that we die to this one. Alright, I guess we're good. I guess we're fine. So, we don't have the drop tiers yet. Which means we have to take a death here. Because we absolutely need them. Which means we're gonna get precisely two cracks at this. <laughs> Not gonna save state? I mean, we could, but we already have the save state there.
No, I, I disagree. I disagree. We don't need a we don't need that save state. What we do need is the we need the schmovement. We need to we need to out schmove this guy! There we go. That's a little tricky. Still gotta beat him again though. And then, drop the teardrop on him. You have a small window to do that, so don't fucking miss! That's how you get the good ending. You have to buy that teardrop and you have to drop it on him post-match. That's how you get the good ending. Who was that unknown being Opa Opa fought with? So closely resembled him in shape and was equipped with the same functional weapon. It was Opa Opa's other self. Due to the emotional stress brought about as a result of a war during his childhood, he developed a dual personality of virtue and vice. This is the same ending as the uh, Master System version. His father sensed that Opa Opa's personality of vice <laughs> plotted to throw the Fantasy Zone into disorder. Parasitized by Ninans, Opa Opa amplified dark impulse. So using a reversal warp gate called Gestalt Gate, his father- Oh, I didn't get to read it all. As a result of Opa Opa's courageous victory, the evil being that has dwelled in him are now destroyed. Deeply moved, Opa Opa can no longer contain his tears, which signify his return to righteousness as they fall. Opa Opa hopes that war will never occur again. Vash, I was trying to be emotional! D, D, D. Thank you so much, Vash, for the 14,000 years. <laughs> now. Those were probably the harder endings to get. Obviously, the best ending would be, like, the hardest one to do, but... Still got one more to get, don't we? So we're going back in. Basically, to get the ending we are currently shooting for, all we have to do is stay on the light side. We can just stay bright. We can stay on the bright side the entire game. So this should, in theory, be pretty easy. So let's find out how we managed to fuck this one up. <laughs> it's a little- it's a little fucked up, though. Because if you're... If you're somebody that just, like, played the original Fantasy Zone, and, like, that's the only one, you probably wouldn't even realize that there was some kind of a gimmick that involved the ending, and then you'd end up with, uh, the one we're about to try and get. I imagine you'd be pretty upset about it. <laughs> so the bosses are... The bosses are less of a problem when you're fighting the bright side versions of them. You can see those logs were going super slow. Yeah, you definitely have time to take the garbage up. And, if we're staying on the bright side the entire time, the game will give us stores to go to, which means we can abuse the iframes given to us by a new weapon. Or at least the one hit of armor. Which means this is gonna feel like... This is gonna feel like cake compared to what we just had to go through. Somehow it all returns to cake. Raise your hand in chat if you're made of cake. Some of you might be cake.
That being said, we're still gonna get bodied by this guy. The gatekeeper boss is hard even on easy. <laughs> this is the one boss where it just doesn't matter. You're gonna have problems regardless. Alright, maybe it's fine. Maybe we're fine. Nice. If they all spun at a consistent speed, it would probably be a lot easier, but they just kind of spin whatever speed they want. <laughs> it makes it really tricky. Hey, Sega! Where is my shop? I was advertised a shop! A shop balloon would be pretty, pretty swell, I think. Alright, anyway. We got through without it. I guess it's fine. I scrolled it off! I probably did. Ice burn! Cool name for an ice cube boss. Hey, all right. There we go. Delicious iframes. Uh, let's buy a fucking firebomb while we're at it. So we can just destroy bosses if we happen to have it. Take the, uh, take the generators out for free, too. The absurd, absolute state of this weapon. If only the drop tiers were this good. Here we go. Yeah, board man. I'm glad you noticed. As Boardman has mentioned in the chat, you may have you may have noticed that Opa Opa has slowly been changing color as we've been defeating these bright side bosses. Might notice he's not red right now. Yeah, give me a seven wait. even need the shop. Why did I go in here? Yeah, let's get the triple. Yeah, spread shots mad good. Oh baby, a triple.
Uh-oh. <laughs> I saw my death in advance. I'm like, ah, <laughs> I'm cornered. This is the end for me. <laughs> Yeah, oops, all death. This isn't great. This boss can be a little stressful regardless of which version of it you're fighting. You don't want to reveal the real piece too early. You want to, like, take out most of the riffraff first, that way... When it does start shooting at you, it's not backed up by every other piece of it. But sometimes you'll accidentally, uh, sometimes you'll accidentally hit the right one first, and it makes the rest of it more difficult than it ought to be. There we go. Notice that we're not making nearly as much money. Remember how much those drop tiers costed? We don't even have enough, and we're on stage six. Guess we have to buy one-ups at some point. What are you talking about, Bob? It's Opa Opa! Let's buy a laser beam! This was what? This is fucking Cyber Lip, I think. Yeah, okay. Yeah, his name is Accord Lawn, I guess. I like to think it's Accordion, but they, like, made it a capital I on accident. Maybe we can just speed run this stage. Maybe, just maybe. Here we go. Here we go. Stupid speedrun strats, let's do it. I didn't take it out. We have to make sure we get those, Opa. Nice, we actually got them all. You didn't catch that text? Oh, the text is pretty great in between stages. By a turbo engine just for the fuck of it by a one-up what are you talking about Bob I don't know what you're talking about he seems fine to me I got hit by the first boss didn't I <laughs> I got cooked by the very first guy didn't I chat room <laughs> So I'll tell you what happened there. I bought the uh I bought a better engine and I wasn't used to 
how fast I suddenly was. <laughs> and I got roasted. We are always in danger with this thing on screen. Yep. I think the boss rush plays out the same way regardless of which, uh, regardless of which route you're on. I believe the difficulty of the bosses stays the same regardless. I think. Yeah. I wonder if that counted. I think we both died at the same time there. <laughs> I have a feeling that didn't count. Yeah, of course. Oh yeah, he's not throwing hammers. Oh yeah, that means we're on the uh, that means we're on bright side then. Got him. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I suppose I should be thankful that I caught that before we proceeded any further. <laughs> Sorry about that. I guess it's our regularly scheduled internet outage. Looks like we're fine now, though. Let me type a young, let me type a young refresh in all caps. And then a, and then a flex in there. There we go. Alright. Where were we? <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely the light side version of this enemy, because the openings would be diagonal if, we were, if this were the dark side version. Stressful boss! That's a stressful one, no matter what. Oh, is that what it cut out? Did it cut out during the ice cube? Alright, well, this is what? Cyber lip? We're back to cyber lip? Fair enough. What do you think about the state of, uh... What do you think about the state of Opa Opa right now? Ooh, he almost got me. Is that painter's skin? You know, I've never given it much thought. We're gonna try something, chat room. 